Al's Tire Mart and Electronic Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Effingham's home for Verizon Wireless has two locations, car stereo installation and service, Bluetooth and mobile accessories, plus Al's top-notch automotive service will keep your team going all season long. Stop by Al's today. the officials, Dave Gibbons, Jerry Shukar, Larry Rebbe, Mike Critchlow, and Paul Yago. Those are our officials for tonight. Hart's going to kick off. That means they get the ball to start the second half, which is how we all kind of like it. I hear people stomping on the bleachers here at Gloucesterman Field. So we're ready to rock and roll. Good to have you with us. Hearts will be going right to left in the first half. They're headed toward the cross in the first half. John Zeruzan ready to kick off. Good to have you with us here on 97.9 XFM, WXEF and Effingham. Matt Toon takes the ball inside the 15. They go to the far sideline. And the return man is taken down at the 30. And that's Noah High, who retired, who uh, returned the ball. And Tristan Rhodes, who I just mentioned, one of the seniors in on the stop there for Effingham. Matt Toon took it just inside the 15. They return it to the 30. That's where the wave will set it up here first and 10. Again, next week we go to Mount Zion to wrap up conference play. And then the final game of the regular season the following week at Muhammad Seymour. Quarterback Braden Smith up under center to start the game. And there's the handoff right up the gut, and the Hearts stuff it. He might have got a yard or two. They still haven't blown the whistle, so give him credit. And Garrett Rice, who had the consecutive 200-yard rushing games for Matt Toon, Kept his head down and got a three-yard gain. Two-yard gain, pardon me. I'm trying to see the spot. 20, 33. All right, gain of three. That's what's second and seven. Frank Snyder, John, who's had a great season among the people in on the tackle for Effingham. Here's another handoff up the gut. He tripped over his own man. He dives across the 35-yard line. Garrett Rice again. Hearts stuff it. I see... Seacrest in there, among others. Griffin Page got his nose in there. It's a gain across the 35 to the 37. That's a gain of four. That'll bring up a third and three situation for Mattoon. We're just underway. Good to have you with us here at Klosterman Field. Worth mentioning that the Mattoon is working against the wind here in the first quarter. Up under center again on third and three. Braden Smith, pitch play this time. They come to the near side, and the Hearts take him down. Nice work as Drew Vasquez got in there. Just about the time the pitch was complete to Rice, there was Vasquez knocking on the door. In fact, they lost a yard on the play back to the 36, and Matt Toon has to punt. So a nice defensive stand by Effingham to start this one. Yeah, you pretty much always take a three and out on your first defensive possession. Eff Effingham, I don't know if they won the toss or not, but they generally take a defense first, and they did their job there. So the Hearts could have decent field position first time here. A nice punt up the middle. There's some collision between a Mattoon and an Effingham player, and eventually the ball rolls dead right about the 30 Punts down at the Effingham three yard line. line. That's 33-34. Always wait to see the spot before I tell you. 33. So from the 36 to the 33, and a 31-yard punt, something like that. 
31 is exactly right. There you go. So, 33-yard line. This is the same spot, I think, on the field where Mattoon started their drive. 11 at uh, 10.05 to go in the opening quarter. Hudson Graham will start up under center. And there's the snap, and there's the handoff. And it's quickly stopped by Mattoon as they have their own number 50, Griffin Page's counter. And a stop made there for uh, maybe no gain, maybe a loss. Now back to the 31, a loss of two. So that'll bring up a second and 12. We saw Drew have a lot of trouble finding any room to run last week in Taylorville, but uh, Terrence Hill, of course, picked up uh, picked up the slack for Drew. Uh, we'll see how it goes here tonight. Neiman's in at the fullback spot right now. Hill doesn't start. Neiman at the fullback spot. Vasquez at the tailback. Graham's on a throw. The catch is made by Denton over there, I think. Right about the 35-yard line. Not a big gain. I believe it was Tucker Denton Wilson over there. Graham finds completion to Tucker Denton. Yeah. Scott Mosier agrees with me. To the 35. So a four-yard gain. That brings up a third and eight. Tackle by Noah High. So there's still plenty of room Gains to run. Up to the 35-yard line. Three minutes into this eight. one. Mattoon was three and out. Cardinals are out in the fourth. They still lead the Cubs 1-0. Graham so comfortable throwing on the run, and you saw it right there, right away. A little rollout pass. From the shotgun here. Coming to the near side. Mattoon's after him. He got away. Now he gets taken down at about the 32-yard line, so a loss on the play. And the Hearts are going to have to kick it away. I have no idea if that was a design run for Graham or not, but either way, he, he didn't have any time to do anything as they spot the ball at the 32, a loss of three yards there. Uh, just a uh, pretty quick uh, reaction by the Mattoon defense. Fourth and 11 situation. So, Mr. Smith will knock it away here. Logan Smith takes his time. Good boot coming to the near side of the field. Hits inside the 35, inside the 25. That ball finally angled out of bounds. We'll see where it's spotted here. It stayed in bounds a long time, finally rolled out. Yeah, he got a nice roll there down the sideline, the near sideline here, and it looks like they're going to spot it at the 26. So, a nice kick. Hearts kicked from their 31. Mm, 32. To the 26. 24. And 18 is 42 yards. That is indeed a nice punt for Logan. So, Mattoon deeper than they were their first possession. First and 10. And they're 26 to start this drive. Just early in the football game. Glad to have you with us. Braden Smith up under center on first and ten. Going to throw this time. Got some time. Cross the middle. Let it a little long. The pass falls incomplete. That'll bring up a second and ten. Yeah, a lot of time to throw that, but uh, overthrew his receiver quite a bit. Uh, had a man lined up to the left coming back toward the middle of the field and led him probably two or three steps too far toward the center hash mark there. Reese Pryor was the intended receiver. Blake White was back there with him for Effingham. Again, it stops the clock with 8.09 to go. Brings up a second and 10. All kinds of presentations, I understand, that it's going to be a presentation right before they start the second quarter at halftime before we start the fourth quarter. One thing I know we're going to talk about is golf down on the field because Effingham has some kids headed to sectional in both boys and girls golf. There's the snap. The hearts are coming. They tackle the ball carrier at about the 25-yard line, so nice reaction there. Chambers, the ball carrier. Might have been a loss, in fact, as uh, Chambers, Justin Chambers, was the ball carrier. He's dropped at the 25. That's a one-yard loss, and that'll make it third and 11. And not a lot of room for anybody to run so far. Both defenses have come out, keyed up, and making a lot of big hits right at the uh, line of scrimmage. And that's uh, We'll see which team wears down first, I guess, as this uh, game rolls on. Mattoon again, as Dustin said, is working against the win. Let's see what happens. They go to the gun here, and there's a whistle, so somebody didn't get something done. Looks like maybe Mattoon called a timeout, perhaps? Timeout called by Mattoon. Yeah, there we've first. got a timeout called just in the nick of time. Seven and a half to go in the first quarter. Back in a minute, Ken. It's Effingham nothing, Mattoon nothing on 97.9 XFM. Hi, I'm Jim Heck for Dan Heck Chevrolet Toyota in Effingham, a proud sponsor of Effingham Area Sports. We'd like to wish the Effingham Hearts football team and new coach Brett Hefner a safe and successful season. Good luck, Hearts. Come visit us at 2400 South Banker or 24-7 at 
at danheck.com. You get more than you expect from Dan Heck. New Health Chiropractic has been serving the community for several years and wants to remind you good chiropractic care is important to a pain-free lifestyle. Whether you're a student athlete, past athlete, or want to be active, they have the perfect plan for you. Call 342-3384. That's 342-3384 and let their talented staff get you started. Come see why New Health Chiropractic was voted People's Choice 2015 and let them help you live a healthier, happier life. Mattoon completed a pass, but there's a penalty on Mattoon that'll bring it back. Pass was complete out across the 40-yard line. The referee's talking with Griffin Page, the Hearts captain. Here's what happened. We have the illegal shift on the offense, five yards, still second. All right, so that all comes back. It was a nice game from the 25 to the 41 on the pass completion, but it'll all be for naught. It'll be third and 16. And it'll end up at the 20. So the ball ends up five yards back farther than when the play began. Drive a coach crazy coming out of a timeout and have your kids do something like that, get a get a pre-snap penalty called on you and get driven back. Now a third and 16 situation. Ideal for the hearts, though. They may be coming on this one. Let's see. From the shotgun, they are coming. Smith looking to get it away. Now he's running with a football. The heart should stop this well uh, shy of the first mm. down. No, he dove forward. He might have got the it's, first down. It's going to be close. They gave him a real nice spot there, yeah, and they are moving really those chains. Oh, down. that Three shouldn't way. happen, gang. Holy cow, third and 16, and we let him run for the first down. Out to the 39, 19-yard gain. Parker Seacrest made the stop, but not after a, not until after a 19-yard gain, and Matt Toon with a new set of downs. Smith's going to stay in the shotgun here on first and ten. Hearts are coming. Here's the handoff up the middle. He's got a big gainer going. Nobody may catch him. In fact, Wolf's got an angle on him, and Grant saves the touchdown. He took him down at about the 25-yard line of Effingham. Wow. Everybody went after the quarterback, and nobody went after Alex Lilly, and he carried the ball all the way from Mattoon's 39 to Effingham's 25. Six-yard line. First and ten at the FEM 26. So a gain of 37 yards on that play. To Effingham's 26-yard line. Obviously a new set of downs. Smith's going to stay in the shotgun. There's another handoff, and this time the hearts react much better. Seacrest hit him first. And Page, and Page came up to help. And it'll stay at the 26, no gain. So the Hearts reacted well that time after giving up a couple of big gains by the Wave. Loss of a yard on the play brings up second 11 from the 27. No score, 6.20 to go in the opening quarter. Senior night here at Effingham. Smith again from the shotgun. A little more time throwing across the middle. Got a man there. He caught it and touchdown Mattoon. Well, that was pretty easy. Touchdown Mattoon. Holy cow, he floated it out there. Nick Foreman makes the touchdown catch. And it's 6-0, Matt, too. The score comes with 6-12 to go in the first quarter. Horman was past the Effingham defenders, and a nice throw by Smith laid it in his lap for a touchdown, and Matt Toon takes a 6-0 lead here. That was too easy. Yeah, good protection for sure. Plenty of time for Smith to just sit back and make the read and threw a perfect pass over his shoulder. Zachary Lensick will kick. There's the hold, the snap. It's up, and it looks good, and it is good. Mattoon leads at 7 nothing. 6-12 to go in the first quarter. Back with a kickoff in a minute on 97.9 XFM. Stop by Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today and check out the all-new Jeep Renegade. Rugged, fun, and affordable, the Renegade joins the legendary Jeep family with the classic Wrangler, the Jeep Patriot and Compass, Cherokee, and the luxurious Grand Cherokee. Find yours today at Effingham's home for Jeep. Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Ready for the kickoff here. And a boot from the 40 after Matt Toon scores the touchdown. It's taken at about the 15-yard line. Terrence Hill catches the football, goes to the far side, get him a block, guys. He's still on his feet. He goes a long way now. He doubles back, and now they finally have him in a hold and take him down at about the 30. He ran 30 yards, but just didn't go very far down the field. Anyway, ball was taken about the 15 to return to the 30, and that's where Effingham will set up shot. As far as the drive, six plays, 74 yards. It took 202 off the clock. Highlighted by the pass from Braden Smith to Nick Horman. The kick was good, and Mattoon leads at 7-0. 
six minutes on the button to, to go here in the first quarter as Effingham tries it on offense again. Boy, just a couple of big plays that kind of got away from Effingham led to Mattoon's score. Let's see what happens back on offense here. They, are, uh, they snap directly. They got the Wildcat working. It's Vasquez. They directly snap to Vasquez, and he takes it out across the 35-yard line. So the Hearts try that Wildcat spread. Well, we saw it work really well for one series in Taylorville as they spotted at the 36, a six-yard pickup for Drew. And uh, and Coach, uh, Coach Hefner said, you know, they only had so many plays in their playbook then. You know, did they work on it some more this week and add a little bit to it after seeing the success? We'll uh, have to stay tuned. The officials are talking to the sidelines. And what's that about? We have a sideline warning. Against Effingham. Hmm. Well, anyway, a sideline warning is just that, a warning. So the Hearts gain six, and it's a second and four. They've got Graham down here wide to the near side, so they're going to run the snap again to Vasquez. There's the handoff. I think it's Cody Line. He turned it back up field. Might have got a couple of yards. Terrence Hill was the ball carrier. Yeah, Terrence Hill was the guy who came around the end to pick that one up. Tackle made by Colton Shute. And he will spot it at the 38. It'll so a gain of two. From the 38. And it's third and two. So let's see if the Hearts go back to the traditional offense now. Graham calls the play. No, he's going to split out here wide to the near side again. So let's see what happens. They've got Neiman as the up back, so they could snap to him. They bring Hill in motion. Vasquez keeps it. He dives forward, and he might have got, got the first Vasquez down. The I cap. think he does. Drew Dove out across the 40-yard line, and they say move the chains. First down, Effingham. So enough's enough, right? That's all that matters. Uh, get it out to the 42. It ended up being a four-yard pickup. So uh, nice, uh, nice job by Drew on a couple of carries, and uh, Hearts get their first first down of the evening. 4.44 to go in the first quarter. It's 7-0 Mattoon, senior night here at Effingham. And this time the snaps to Graham back in the traditional set. Throw across the middle. Got him. Man, it's Hill. He oh, can't goodness. get there. Just out through him. That's Boy. too bad because he had a Ooh. Hill had a step. He had a couple steps. <laughs> Man. Incomplete. Pass stops the clock with 4.32 to go. In the first yeah, quarter, second brings second up a second and ten. Second and ten. Golly. I don't, I don't know if we've seen Terrence Hill go deep in a passing route or not, but with the kind of speed he's got, why not? And you saw it right there. I don't know if Mattoon's got anyone in their secondary is going to be able to keep up with him in a one-on-one -on -one situation like that. And we know that Graham can unload, so let's see what happens, That's right? true. He threw that one a good, uh, what, 40 yards downfield. So uh, we'll see if they uh, keep that in mind. Hudson's going to stay in the traditional set in the shotgun. He runs it. He's got a good gain. He's got a first down inside Mattoon territory. And Effingham with the first. Scored at the Mattoon 46. So from our 42 first down Effingham. to Mattoon's 46, a gain of 12 and a new set of downs for the Hearts. Hearts really getting creative with the playbook here in the last couple of weeks, and that's what you like. You know, defenses have to watch your film and kind of figure out what they want to be prepared for. But if you throw them stuff that they haven't seen, you know, they're going to be back on their heels. Boy, and you've got to execute well, and so far the Hearts have done letter perfect here. Hand off to Vasquez coming to the near side. Turns it up the middle. Still on his feet. Inside the 20 before they take him down. First down, Effingham. Woo. Coming to the near side, and they thought they had him tackled once, and he just kept going. It's inside the 20. It'll be set at the 18-yard line. From the 46 to the 18, that's a gain of 20, 38 yards? 28. 28, my next guess. First and 10, Hearts at the Mattoon 18. Snap, shotgun, Graham gave it to Hill. He goes parallel, and then Mattoon takes him down. And we got a flag, too. That late in the play, I tend to believe it's going to be a hold. Not much good happened on that play. They're talking it over. Hmm. You would suppose there's no way Mattoon won't want to push Effingham back. They're inside the 20-yard line. 
They're still talking, though. It's first down. This should be pretty elementary. Well, apparently it's not as easy a decision for, for somebody on the Matt Teen sideline as we think it is. Holy cow, you got to take this. I mean, you want to push them back there inside your 20. And it's first down. You know, if it was third down, I might think about it. We have a hold on the offense. Ten minutes. There you go. First down. I'm not happy about it, but that figured that had to be the situation. So it's back to the 31. So actually, there was a loss back to the 21, Dustin. And then a 10-yard penalty for holding. So it's back to Mattoon's 31-yard line. Back to the green so it's first and 23. Down remains the same. It'll be first But it's still first down. And they're still inside Mattoon's 35-yard line. And now a whistle and hearts call timeout. Coach Hefner's already out on the field and doesn't look particularly <laughs> pleased. Timeout Hearts, 325 to go in the first quarter. It's Matt Toon 7, Effingham nothing here on 97.9 XFM. Northside Ford and Effingham is proud to be a sponsor of high school sports. Check out the new F-150. The future of tough is here today, so you can own work now like never before. Stop by and take a test drive. Contact Northside Ford today or visit them online at effinghamford.com. The Cubs have a hit. The Cubs just got a hit, so there is hope, Cubs fans. Still one nothing in the top of the six. Cubs have their leadoff man on via the base hit, so that snaps John Lackey's no-hit bit. All right, it's first and 23 for the Hearts at Mattoon's 31. Graham from the shotgun's going to run it. Coming to the near side, tucks it in, gets inside the 25 before they take him down. Pretty good little chunk on first and very long. Just uh, chip away a little bit. Give yourself a little better position here. They will score it at the 23-yard line. So from the 32 to the 23, a gain of 9. That'll make it second and 14, 15 yards. 7 nothing, Mattoon. We're still in the first quarter. It's early in this one. This time, we're back to Graham shifted out to the wide side. White, wide side. Hill in motion. The snaps to Vasquez. Now they do the old double reverse. They're coming to the near side. That's Corey Osborne on his feet, and he gets inside the 20 before they take him down. I'm glad I've got a program, and I've seen these kids play six games. To the 19, they say. So from the 23 to the 19, a gain of four, and that'll make it third and about 11. But again, they're at Mattoon's 19-yard line. So Sean Zeruzan, he's getting his leg ready. Line brings up third and 11. Third and 11, they're at Mattoon's 19-yard line, and the Hearts would be kicking with the wind here. Just looking ahead. Graham back up under center. They're back in the eye now. Graham's going to throw. Got a man in the corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Incomplete. Wow. Trevor Craig was down in the back corner of the end zone, and... Graham just threw it a little deep, but to Matt Toon's credit, they had nice coverage there, Dustin. Yes, it was good coverage. Not a lot of room for Craig there. Uh, I mean, Graham does a nice job in the sense that he did not underthrow that ball and give them a chance to intercept in the end zone. But, yeah, now you're looking at a, a fourth and, and long. You know, uh, there looks like they're going to go ahead and go for it. They're going to go for the enchilada here. Graham up under center on fourth and 11 at the 19 from the eye. Here comes Matt Toon. Graham gets away. Got some room. Here's the throw. It's oh. incomplete and a flag to boot. Let's hope That's this is on Matt Toon. And we've got some fist to cut. Well, yeah, not, no, yeah, no now, fists, well, just see, shoving and now another flag thrown. Well, see, what happened was you had a Matt Toon player refuse to let go of an Effingham player's leg, but then uh, you had an Effingham player come in after the fact and do a little shoving, and he may be the one who drew the flag there. But then that's unrelated to the first flag that was thrown also after that pass was thrown. So a whole lot going on. Well, After the actual play. I think Coach Hefter might have thought the penalty was on Matt Toon and they might get a little more life, but then that other flag was thrown. And I'm afraid that's going to be against Steffingham. And now, in, in, just going back to the play, Greg, I wish that uh, that maybe Hudson had just taken off running, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, he had the first down easily from where I am up here in the booth. I have better look than he does where he is. Sure. Now, the officials are talking this over to sort it out. If the first penalty was on Matt Toon, if we have offsetting penalties, We'd do the play it's just again. a do-over. And that's the best the Hearts can hope for right now. I think so. 
Unless by some chance both penalties were against Matt Toon. But I doubt no. that. Well, that'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be okay. Uh, All my friends go. in Matt Toon say, hey, no, Odin. <laughs> so it was 4th and 11. The ball was at the 19 of Matt Toon. Now they're talking to Matt Toon. That's not good news. They're chatting with Garrett Rice, their running back, and one of their captains. And we get a new football. I think the referees finally got it sorted out for us. We have an illegal forward pass on the offense, which is five yards, loss of down. It's going to be first down this way. That's we have unsportsmanlike on green, unsportsmanlike on ref. They all set. We got first down. All right. He sorted it out well for us. Bottom line is it's Matt Toon football. Yeah, so in the end, Hudson was across the line of scrimmage when he threw that pass anyway, so... The, so, he, so he really should have run with it. Yes. Well, as it is, he was obviously past the line of scrimmage. That accounts for the improper forward pass. That's not only an incompletion, but it's loss of down and then the offsetting personal fouls. So Mattoon has the football, and they'll have it first and 10 at their 24-yard line. So Hart's had a uh, pretty good opportunity there with the ball inside the 20, and Penalties kind of did him in there. Let's see how Matt Toon responds. The wave already lead here, seven to nothing, with a minute 51 to go in the first quarter. Braden Smith, the Matt Toon quarterback, is going to line it up in the shotgun to start this series. And there's the handoff up the middle. Nice reaction by the Hearts. A very short gain, if any gain. Tackled by Caleb Martin. Actually, there was no gain. Ball carrier that time was Alex Lilly. And he got it to the 24, so no gain at second and 10. Good reaction by the Hearts defense. Much better than the 35-yard run that he uh, broke off the first time he got a touch. So second and 10, Smith's going to stay in the gun. Smith lined up to, a, or, uh, to his side. Smith wants to throw. The Hearts are after him. Oh, he got loose. There's a flag, so that could be a hold. And down goes the quarterback, Smith. He got out across the 35. Griffin Page on the stop. You have to think that's what it's going to be. It was late in the play. You would presume it's a hold. The ball is at the 31-yard line of Mattoon. And it is going to come back. On the offense. There you go. Flag is at the 18. So they'll walk it back to there and then 10 more. So they'll spot it at the 18. That should leave it at the 8. I can do that math. That's quite uh, quite a actually, setback for the, for the green wave here. Actually, 18, it'd be half the distance. Half of that is 9, so that would take you back to the 9. So that's where the ball is. So Matt Toon with the ball at the 9-yard line. Matt has it. Second and a whole bunch. Second down at their nine-yard line, second and 25. Smith is going to stay in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Time to throw through it in the flats, and it's caught, and down he goes. He lost yardage on the play. Hearts reacted well. Garrett Rice caught the pass, and the Hearts were there quickly. Cody Line was over there among the Hearts defenders. And the ball is inside the five at the three. A six-yard loss on that pass play, and it's now third and 31 at the three. Well, that pass was low and behind Rice, so he had to kind of go back for it. By the time he could recover, he was being driven to the ground. All right, Smith in the shotgun, actually standing in the end zone. He's coming to the near side. A lot of time, a lot of time. Here's the throw, and it is... I don't think he's beyond the 30. It's going to be really close to see whether he has Goodness. the first down. I, it, it looks like the spot's going to be it's good. They're moving the, the chains. chains. Pass is complete to the. They're lining it up. The nose of the football is just shy of the 35-yard line. They they officially had said it was the four, so it's to the 35. A 31-yard pass completion, and Mattoon gets a new set of downs. Boy, the hearts had him dead to rights. And they complete that pass play. All right, first down for Mattoon at their 35. 15 seconds left in the first quarter, likely the last play of the quarter. Smith throws in the middle of the field. It's caught, 
And then a nice gain after the catch, and it's very near Nick another Corman first down. Nick Corman with the right. catch. He caught the touchdown pass, and now we've got another flag. It's going to be against Matt. Yeah, I think Hammond's it's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct after the play. Someone gave him a shove after he was trying to get up. He to, can't do that. To the 44, a gain of nine. And a couple of hearts maybe need to take a deep breath. Yeah, I mean, it's. I get it frustrated right you had him backed up to their own end zone they complete a 31 yard pass to get out of an impossible situation but you, you know okay move on you know don't compound the problems here and now you're going to give them it looks like you're going to give them an extra 15. nine yard gain to the 44 and now the walk off the officials talking the refs talking with coach hefner that's why you haven't heard him tell us what's going on while he's still talking with Coach Hefner, they won't tell us what's going on. They also won't move the football. you got to get the crew together. Coach Hefner's still out there getting information and I think giving an earful, too. Well, he, he I don't know if he just didn't see what happened, but it's a pretty clear cut. It's pretty clear go. cut. On the defense, 15 yards, going to be a first down. All right. So as we said, Dustin spotted the extracurricular activity right after Foreman's catch. He was trying to get up and... They didn't want him to get up. He takes it, down to the it ends up at line. Effingham's 41-yard line. So that gives Mattoon a first and 10, and that ends the first quarter. So the Hearts will probably have a chat here during the quarter break. Your After one, score, senior Matt night at Klosterman and Field. Said Mattoon 7, Effingham nothing on 97.9 XFM. Al's Tire Mart and Electronic Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Effingham's home for Verizon Wireless has two locations, car stereo installation and service, Bluetooth and mobile accessories, plus Al's top-notch automotive service will keep your team going all season long. Stop by Al's today. All right, one quarter in the books. A presentation being made to the Effingham sports backers by the Andrew Gobzinski Big Heart Foundation. Andrew left us a year or so ago, much too soon, and his family established this foundation in his memory to do some nice things. And that includes a contribution to the sports backers, so thanks to the Gobzinski family. Second quarter starts with Garrett Rice carrying the ball for Mattoon to the Hearts 36-yard line. So from the 41 to the 36, a gain of five, it'll be second and a long four. Well, we mentioned the big games that Garrett Rice has had in the last uh, two contests coming into this one, just his fourth carry tonight for 11 yards. Smith again from the shotgun. There's the handoff up the gut. There's Rice on his feet. Got by a defender. He's got a big gain going. He's near the goal line. They take him down about the five. Yeah, Drew Vazquez is the only guy who makes it, uh, keeps him from getting in the end zone, but a big gain. Effingham over pursuing on a blitz again, but the, they were chasing air by the time uh, they got across the line of scrimmage. Boy, they gave a little juke step there, and Garrett Rice was off to the races. Vazquez saves the touchdown. It is to the five-yard line from the 36 to the five, a gain of 31 yards. First and goal for Mattoon at Effingham's five. Smith stays in the shotgun. There's the handoff and the hearts smashing. Rice Boy, they the were waiting on Rice. He barely got the handoff before the hearts had him. Tackle me by Griffin Page. So a loss on the play from the five to the eight, a loss of three. That'll make it second and goal at the eight. 7 nothing, Mattoon. We're a minute into the second quarter here on senior night at Effingham High School. Smith again from the shotgun. Taking time on the snap. Hearts are coming again. Smith is trying to get away, and the Hearts take him down for a loss. They've been after him all night, and they finally got there. And a late flag. Smith along with Kayla Martin. So let's see what that's about. Oh, sideline warning, but I think we threw a flag for that. So Alex Lilly got the handoff, and then they said hello. Gets back to the 11. Lost of three more, Dustin. So it's third and goal now at the 11-yard line. So this is where the hearts have stumbled, though, tonight. They've gotten them in bad spots, and then they've been able to eat their way out of them. Yeah, big play here. I mean, they're obviously going to run two plays. Got to keep them from getting much here, and and, and uh, Effingham's going to get called for offsides. Yeah, Griffin Page tried to shoot the gap, but he shot the gap before the snap. Five so that's five yards. 
So Mattoon will get the ball at their Just heart six now. Yeah, Griffin's been trying to time it up all night long, get across that line of scrimmage, but uh, that time they <laughs> took an extra beat and he was way, way across the line. So it's still third down and it's still goal. And now the ball at the heart six. Smith stayed in the shotgun throughout. Taking his time, there's the snap they're going to throw. They loft it into the end zone, and it's incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down. Mattoon kid cut toward the middle. Smith threw to the corner, and it falls incomplete. As Grant Wolf was the for the Hearts was the player nearest that. With the wind at their back, it looks like Mattoon is going to go ahead and try to try to kick uh, kick this one through and extend that lead to 10 nothing. Zachary Lensick is their kicker. He got the extra point this earlier. They'll set it down Lensick. just inside the 15, so about a 25-yard kick. They again are kicking with the wind. There's the snap, the placement, the kick. It's up, and it's got plenty of distance, and it's good. Mattoon extends good. the lead to 10 to nothing. Comes with 9.47 to go in the second quarter. Kickoff on the way in a minute on 97.9 XFM. From an oil change to new brakes or possibly a major overhaul, our service makes a difference at Dan Heck Chevrolet Toyota in Effingham. Trust your car or truck repairs to the most experienced repair shop in the area. Look for our specials online at danheck.com. Ready for the kickoff, 9.47 to go in the second quarter. Mattoons extend to their lead to 10 to nothing on that field goal. Corey Osborne took the kick, and it ends up in the end zone. It'll be a touchback, and the touchback. ball will come out to the 20. Take over first and 10 Osborne tried to get his feet line. set about the 1, and he ended up sliding back into the end zone, so it's a touchback first and 10 at the 20. Yeah, that uh, kick was... If it, if it just lands, I think it's going to land right out about the goal line. And uh, he tried to, to go up, leap, and make the catch. Uh, but his momentum was carrying him backwards. It's probably best that they just start at the 20. Ten plays, 70 yards on that drive that ended with a 25-yard field goal. 4.04 taken off the clock. Mattoon has extended their lead to 10 to nothing. Hart's back in the traditional offense. Graham up under center, in fact, on first and 10. Hart's in the eye. They give it to the deep back. That's Terrence Hill, and he gets it Terrence out across the, the 20 to the tackle made by three, Noah maybe Hyde. about a three-yard gain. Yep. To the 23, be second and seven. Next three, week, we go to Mount Zion. Always excited about getting to do a game from the deer stand. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the conference season ender. Matt, Mount Zion with a seven million zillion dollar building project no word about a visiting broadcast booth yet handoff here graham doesn't hand off he's got a throw going and it is intercepted matt tune intercepted, intercepted. they Craig stepped in garrett front rice. of trevor crake and garrett rice who plays some pretty good offense played some pretty good defense there stepped right in front of crake and took it away for an interception it's at the 49 of matt tune and that's where the Wave will get the set-up shop already leading 10 to nothing. Well, hmm. So let's see what happens here. Smith working from the shotgun pretty much all night. Braden Smith, the Mattoon quarterback, with Alex Lilly lined up alongside. They get the ball on the interception. Smith's going to throw across the middle. It's caught out here. And it is inside the Hearts 45-yard line. Garrett Rice made the catch. Jordan McCabe came over on number 25 to make the stop. Ball's at Effingham's 44, so a gain of seven on that pass play. And it's second and three. It brings up second and three. It is one nothing Cardinals in the seventh. That game against the Cubs, first of five. <laughs> Cubs fans are starting to hope it'll be fine. Smith going to throw again. Pass complete again. And he tries to get a step, and he does get a step inside the flag, and it is a first down inside the stick, rather. Was by Nick and Corman. it is a first down. Nick Corman made White. the catch. First down, Greenway. Blake White on the stop for the Hearts. Pass is complete inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. So a gain of six, and that's enough for a first down. Mattoon has so Mattoon just keeps on rolling. They lead it 10-0 with 8.20 to go in the second quarter. 
Sma snap to Smith. Fakes one throw. Now he goes deep and too deep. Passes incomplete. Stops clock with 8-10 to go in the second quarter. Brings up second and 10. Yeah, a lot of jockeying for position there. He was trying to find uh, Reese Pryor down the right, the far sideline, but uh, overthrew him by quite a bit. So he just couldn't find any space to break free with, uh, I think, Grant Wolf maybe in, uh, in, his, uh, in the coverage. Blake White and Grant Wolf have been back at what I still call the corner spots. I know at the start of the year we were going to have five second defensive 10, backs. Pretty much playing a corner. Let's see what Smith does here on second and ten. Looking to throw. Goes to the far side. Almost intercepted. The ball falls incomplete. <laughs> Holy cow. Grant Wolf almost had the pick for the hearts. But okay. it falls incomplete. Effingham's defense could have used that. Uh, yeah. Could have been a really big pick-me-up for these guys. Incomplete. It's third and ten. Still at Effingham's 38. 8.07 to go. Second quarter. Smith will try it again. Here's the snap. Here come the heart. Smith throw across the middle. Too deep, and that'll bring up fourth down. And this time, if the kid hits a field goal, he is the man. Well, there's a flag on the play. That was a false start. Uh, the receiver on our side of the field, which was uh, Garrett Rice, got, uh, got going a little too quickly. So we'll see. Uh... So we will decline this. Yes. And hearts will be in a nice place. On your offense, penalty is declined, fourth down. There you go. So they turn it down because that will bring up a fourth and ten. 8.03 to go in the second quarter. Hearts are down 10 nothing. They need to get a stop here. Smith, obviously, and Matt Toon are going to go for it here. They're into Effingham territory at Effingham's 38, so they're going to go for it here. Smith from the shotgun. And another whistle. And the Hearts one time. So the Hearts figure they might have a good chance at getting some good field position. So they call time. 8.03 to go. Second quarter. Back in a minute. It's Matt Toon 10, Effingham nothing on 97.9 XFM. Stop by Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today and check out the all-new Jeep Renegade. Rugged, fun, and affordable, the Renegade joins the legendary Jeep family with the classic Wrangler, the Jeep Patriot and Compass, Cherokee, and the luxurious Grand Cherokee. Find yours today at Effingham's home for Jeep. Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Back at Effingham High School, Klosterman Field, 8.03 to go, second quarter. Senior night at EHS. It's Mattoon 10, Effingham nothing. Mattoon with the ball, fourth and 10 at Effingham's 38 yard line. Now, I said maybe they couldn't kick, but they could punt. A little pooch punt could really bury the hearts deep because you're always looking ahead to the next time you get the ball, too. So let's see whether they go ahead and run a play or whether they might kick. They do kick. Good spot, Dustin. And Smith hits it just at the goal line. Now it falls into the end zone. It'll be a touchback, and the Hearts will get it first and 10 at the 20. That ball landed yeah. just shy of the goal line and checked up, and I thought maybe yeah. it was going to bounce sideways out of bounds. That was really going to hurt, but it does sneak sneak past the line, so a touchback on the punt. And yeah, Braden Smith is lined up a little deeper than a shotgun snap, so we wondered if they might punt. Effingham didn't have anybody deep, so that's why they need to use that timeout to get Vazquez back there. So the hearts bend but don't break, and they get the ball first and 10 at their 20. Hearts 3-3, three and three. Mattoon 3-3, three and three. something has to give. Mattoon's undefeated in the Apollo course. Taylorville sits atop, and they are in the catbird seat. So first and 10 for the hearts at the 20. Let's see what happens here. How about a run by Terrence Hill coming to the near side, out across the 30, out across the 40. He's to midfield. He's into Mattoon territory. Is he still in bounds? He's to the 30 before they take him down. Heck of a run by Terrence Hill. If you'd have told me he stepped out of bounds about the 42-yard line, I would have said, well, I can't really argue against it, but uh, we'll take the extra yardage. Gets it all the way to the 30. So uh, that is a how about a 50-yard game? 50-yard run. You bet. 50-yard run for Terrence Hill. Hearts have a new set of downs at Mattoon's 30-yard line. That got the crowd a little juice. Sure. Let's see what happens here. Up under center, Graham gives the ball to Hill. Coming to the far side. Got some room. Hit the Jets. Oh, he was trying to get around one kid, and they <laughs> came up and got him from behind. As it is, he got close to five yards on first down. 
I mean, a lot of runners would not get anything on that play, but uh, he did a nice job of checking up and, and coming out wide a little bit and just making something out of nothing there. Gain to the 25. It'll be second and five for the Hearts. Hearts' best opportunity in a while in this game. 10 nothing, Matt Toom, but the Hearts are motivating here. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Long way to go in this one. Graham to the deep back. That's Hill again, and he puts his head down and diving and driving, and he gets it inside the 25, and then it's kind of like uh, Australian real football after that. Everybody just standing there shoving on each other. And it ends up a whistle being blown at the 22, giving three to the 22, and it's third and two. Got to get a first down. Got to get a first down. In the eye, deep back, Hill, moving, juking, diving. I might have had, might have had the first down on his initial penetration. Yeah. It's right at the 20. It's right at the 20. He, he changed directions after taking the handoff and I wasn't sure if he's going to be able to get there or not. This is going to be awfully close. They're eyeballing it. They're going to bring out the sticks. Yeah. Officials time out, they want to measure. Boy, it's really close. But as, as close as it is, and with the fact that the wind's blowing in Effingham's face, and as short as it is, I mean, if, if they don't get this, Hudson Graham's going to take a keeper, and they're going to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's, and, and they'll probably get it because they've had really good luck running that play all season. I think they might have it. Sticks down, first down, Effingham. Remove those chains. Good work by the chain gang. They out to help all the time. They get to come out here when it's cold and windy and not much fun. Cubs have another man on with one out at the top of the seventh. One nothing Cardinals still. So first and ten for the Hearts at it. Matt Toon's 20. Deep back hill. Good open hole in the middle. He gets it inside the 15-yard line. Matt Toon's got kids with helmets off. I tell you, they're, they're going at it here. I, I, th to the 14, a gain of six. Yeah, there's definitely some chippiness out there, and uh, I just hope everyone kind of keeps it under control. we still got uh, two and a half quarters of football to play. <laughs> Absolutely. 10 nothing, Matt Toon, but the Hearts are on the march. 5.50 to go in the quarter. Second and four at Mattoon's 14. Deep back hill. He dives ahead near the 10 before they take him down. Really close to another first down. Let's see where the spot is. That's going to be all important here. In a way, I'd almost hope that maybe Effingham has a third and short here so they can get a little closer on that goal-to-go play. It's shy of the 10, so it's third and less than a yard. Third and less than a yard. Still in the eye. Deep back. Oh, and they hit him for a loss. Mattoon was coming. They knew what was going to happen. And the Hearts ran it with Hill again. And now fourth down and about three. Ball's at the 13. So fourth and three at the 13-yard line. So wow. disregard what I said just a second ago. Yeah. Denton brings the play in. Tucker will go out split wide to the left side. Osborne, two. So some targets out there is what I'm saying. Overloaded to the left side. Here's the handoff to uh. Hill, and down he goes. The ball gets loose. Picked up by That's Graham. Graham. He's back at the 20, and down he goes, and it's Mattoon football. Well, See, that wasn't pretty. The ball hit the ground because when he tried to hand it to Terrence Hill, there were already two or three Mattoon players there to make the hit. Ball pops loose. Hudson was able to pick it up and try to make something happen, but all he ended up doing was getting pushed back a little bit further. Back to the 20, or maybe the 19. Yeah, and loss of six. And first down, Mattoon. Wow. A couple of times, Dustin, the Hearts have had the ball inside the 20 and nothing to show for it. Yeah, that's that's upsetting, I mean, for, for everybody involved. All right, first and 10 for Mattoon at their 19. Smith back to throw. Pass is complete, and down he goes after the, pass the catch. Is pass is caught by Reese Pryor, and coming over to take him down, I think, was Spencer. Was by contact. Noah Spencer, I think, came out to make sure he was down. So it's a complete pass to the 26. They gain seven, and it's second and three, Dustin. Another play. They're going it up the middle. Not much there. In fact, I think they'll still be shy of the first down. It ends up a uh, gain. The ball was carried that time by Lilly. 
And it's a gain to by Jerry Jones. the 20. Eight a gain of two. So it's about third and one. And they go up under center. First time in the game, I think. Hart show blitz. Now they drop back. Smith up under center. One of the rare times in the game. Third and about a yard. See if they just run behind him. No. There's the handoff up the gut. They might have stuffed it. I don't Hart's think might have stopped him. Alex Lilly. Alex Lilly got the handoff. And Effingham was in there in a hurry. Even after Effingham tipped his hand a little bit, uh, Matt Toon was not able to make the right adjustment, and uh, they're going to be facing the fourth down here. Noah Spencer, I think, the man in there in a hurry for the Hearts, still at the 28, no gain, and it's fourth and one. Play another one of these crucial times in this game. Fourth and one. Boy, the Hearts can stuff them here. Holy cow, they'd get great field position. They're at Matt Toon at their own 28. Smith back to the shotgun. Rolling out to the far side. Gonna oh, he kicked. He kicked it, and the ball ends up inside Effingham's 20, right at the Hart's 25-yard line. So Smith got Matt Toon out of serious trouble by kicking rather than trying to get it on first down. The Hearts, it went out of bounds, evidently, because the ball stopped rolling at the 25. They're going to spot it, though, at the 31-yard line. So it's first and 10 for the Hearts at the 31. So they kick from their 28, Dustin, to the Hearts 31, about 41 yards. Yes. The Hearts have it, first and 10. So first and 10 for Effingham at their 31. Well, that was maybe the shortest series for Mattoon all night. I think they only added about 47 seconds there. It's okay with the Hearts. Still a 10-0 game. Hearts still right in it. Deep back has a handoff. That's Vasquez. Drew gets near the 35, and now they're driving back. Boy, there's just not much room up the middle. The Hearts have got some burners. I thought maybe we'd try a sweep or two here. We'll see. Still a lot of game to go to the 34. Gain of three. It's second and seven. You know, that last possession, they found some room between the tackles right up until the, that third and one play whenever Hill got uh, hit behind the line of scrimmage. And there, not much room for Vasquez. Graham up under center. There's the snap. Fakes the handoff. Going to throw. Got a man out here. Corey Osborne. Got it! Inside the 35-yard line. First down, Effingham. Just a patented throw it up and let Osborne go get it, even if he's out man down there. I mean, two Matt Toon defenders on the scene, but Osborne just goes up and makes the catch. The 35, that's a, that's a big pickup for the Hearts. 35 to the 35, and then one extra yard. 31-yard pass completion. First down for Effingham at Matt Toon's 35-yard line. Corey Osborne has done that. As long as he's been playing this season, Vasquez dives Vasquez into the, the scrum. Might have got a yard. There's just not much room for Drew. They get it to the 34, gain of one, at least second and nine. One tell you about Corey Osborne. Now, this story, they tell me this is true. Corey has never played high school football before this season. He went to registration. The secretary said, hey, you're in time for football. He says, I don't play football. She says, well, you should. Introduced him to the coach, and here he is. That Now, that's my understanding. That's legitimate. Oh, my goodness. A pass completion and then a big hit. Pass is caught by Joe Neiman, and then Matt Toon laid the wood to him. Just nice, clean hit, but wow, what a hit. To the 31, a gain of three, and Joe's probably wondering, was it worth three yards? Wow, Joe's, did he get in? He might be wondering what his name is right now. Making it third and six. Again, a nice, clean hit. Reese Pryor. Yeah. No, there's a nice hit, but gosh. Not a thing wrong with it. So that makes it third and six. So the Hearts need to convert here and a whistle. Let's see what this is about. Matt Toon called timeout, I believe. Matt Toon timeout. Let's take a 30-second break, Kenneth. 57 seconds left before halftime here at Klosterman Field. It's Matt Toon 10, Effingham nothing on 97.9 XFM. Northside Ford and Effingham is proud to be a sponsor of high school sports. Check out the new F-150. The future of tough is here today, so you can own work now like never before. Stop by and take a test drive. Contact Northside Ford today or visit them online at effinghamford.com. All time, there's just a hair under a minute to go before halftime. They have a third and six at uh, Effingham, pardon me, has a third and six at Mattoon's 31-yard line. 
Hearts trail 10 nothing. So this big play. Sure, I mean, getting some points on the board before halftime would be a huge shot in the arm for Effingham. I think we both agree that while the Hearts are down, this this could be worse. Mm-hmm. But by the same and by the same token, you know, they're they're one play away from being right in it and getting the ball first in the second half with a chance to take the lead. But but uh, got to execute right here, last minute of the quarter. The quarter. Third and six at Mattoon's 31. Graham throws, got a man out here in the open. That's Craig. Got away from one defender. He's inside the 15 to about the 12. First down for the Hearts. 48 seconds left. Yeah, Trevor Craig, the yak man, yards after catch. He catches the ball and then makes people miss. You know, Osborne goes up and gets those jump balls, but uh, Craig is uh, able to make a lot of things happen after the ball's in his hands. 18-yard pickup there. 31 to the 13. Hartz with a first down. Graham up under center. Hand off up the middle. Vasquez, he's loose. He Vasquez gets near the, the five before they take Inside him down. Good gain for Drew. 35 seconds left, and the Hearts are going to burn their Thank last time out yes. here, I think. So the Hearts call timeout, and it ends up at the four, actually. So from the 13 to the four, Dustin, a nine-yard gain for Drew Vasquez. It's just shy of a yard for another first down. So second and about a yard. Kenna, let's just keep it here now with 35 seconds left before halftime. What a nice run by Drew Vasquez, and what a good job by the line. Yeah, I mean, they, they opened that up for him. He has had, you know, a tough time <coughs> finding those holes or getting those holes, and uh, they're... Uh, just a, just a great pickup at the, at the most important time. I mean, 35 seconds left. Like we mentioned, the Hearts would, could just, would just love to get on the board here before halftime. Seven innings in the books in the National League Division Series game. It's still St. Louis 1, Effingham, or <laughs> St. Louis 1, Chicago nothing. Cubs do have two hits now. Cardinals only have four. Got a run in the first, and so far they've made it stand up. All right, it's second and about a yard to go. Effingham with the ball at the Mattoon four-yard line, trailing 10 nothing. Boy, this would make halftime a lot easier to take. Might take Arson. a little shot right here. Go for the end zone. They, everyone's expecting a run, I would think, but I wouldn't be surprised hmm. if they... Craig's the only guy lined up as a receiver. Let's see what happens. They're going to run it up the middle. Vasquez in for the touchdown. Touchdown, well, Effingham. That works, too. Touchdown, Hearts are on the board. Score comes with 31 seconds left in the second quarter. That'll make it 10 to 6. What a hole. Drew hit it and hit it hard. 10 6 Effingham. Four yard touchdown run. And that makes it a 10 6 game. Sean's Zeruzan in to kick the extra point here from Vasquez's hold. Of course, Grant Piggish is always the snapper. He's done a good job this year. They take their time. And there's the snap, the placement, the kick. It's up. It looks good, and it is good. Hearts are back within three. 31 seconds left. Second quarter. It's Mattoon 10, Effingham 7. Kick off on the win. 30 seconds on 97.9 XFM. Al's Tire Mart and Electronic Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Effingham's home for Verizon Wireless has two locations, car stereo installation and service, Bluetooth and mobile accessories, plus Al's top-notch automotive service will keep your team going all season long. Stop by Al's today. 7 plays, 69 yards, 2 minutes, 22 seconds on that drive for the Hearts. Highlighted by Drew Vasquez's 4-yard touchdown run. Sean Zeruzan's kick was good, and the Hearts are back within 10-7 to seven against Mattoon here. With 31 seconds left before halftime, and now what you guard against is a run back. Yes, absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Zeruzan kept this one low to the ground and uh, just made the green wave fall on it. But you don't want to, you know, there's enough time for them to run a big play, so you don't want to go too short short with a kick either. So let's see what John Sean can do here. There's the kick. High end over end. Taken and dropped. And now Mattoon falls on it at about the 26-yard line. Noah High falls well, that got exciting. <laughs> Noah High Mattoon takes had it, dropped it, remaining. fell on it. So it'll be first and 10 for Mattoon right at their 25-yard line. Now, 30 seconds left. Mattoon has one timeout left, the scoreboard tells me. 10-7. Mattoon's leads down to three. Let's see what the Hearts can do about containing any ideas Mattoon might have about 
trying to get those points back. Smith up under center. Handoff coming to the near side. That's their big man. And Garrett Rice gets the ball Rice out across the, the 30. He's knocked out of bounds by Grant Wolf to the 30. That tune picks up the first down. And they're going to spot it here at the 38-yard line. So to the 38, and that's a new first down for Mattoon. 25 seconds left before halftime. Smith again up under center. Taking his time. Going to hand off again. Here comes Rice. Down he goes. Nice job by Snyder John. And who else is in there to help? Frankie, who was helped out there by... Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith is in there. So they teamed up on the stop. The ball's at the 40, so a gain of just two. And Mattoon does not run another play. We've come to halftime on senior night here at Klosterman Field. It's anybody's ball game. At the half, Mattoon 10, Effingham 7. Busy halftime show on your way in just a minute, courtesy of Compass Advisory Group. We're going to have a presentation here quickly, Kenna. Let me mention, we talked about the fact that we were going to have a lot of presentations tonight. And, of course, we'll be having the band kids being recognized here on Senior Night. Dietrich Bank has helped make a nice presentation to the Effingham Sports Backers. So, thanks to Dietrich Bank, a good football sponsor on 97.9 XFM and a good sponsor. Bank all tomorrow. through the week. The so that presentation like being made, Bank. let's take Older our break. Again, Compass Post. Advisory Group sponsors our halftime show. At the half again, Mattoon 10, Effingham 7 on 97.9 XFM. Hi, I'm Jim Heck for Dan Heck Chevrolet Toyota in Effingham, a proud sponsor of Effingham Area Sports. We'd like to wish the Effingham Hearts football team and new coach Brett Hefner a safe and successful season. Good luck, Hearts. Come visit us at 2400 South Banker or 24-7 at danheck.com. You get more than you expect from Dan Hecht. Oh, it's a busy time of year. And who's... Hard to imagine we're uh, about a month and a week away from basketball. Holy cow. Then it gets uh, busy. But fall is a crazy time of year. So many sports going on. That's the that's thing. Next week, we go to Mount Zion to wrap up the Apollo Conference season. So bring your long woolies, and we'll see you at the deer stand. Kick off at 7 o'clock, and we'll have it right here on 97.9 XFM. And then we'll wrap up the regular season heading to Muhammad Seymour. And uh, hopefully there will be more after that. But it sure would help to win this one tonight, Dustin. Yeah, you, as we mentioned in the pregame show, you do not want to put yourself in a position where you have to beat Mount Zion and Muhammad on back-to-back -back weeks. At, uh, you know, to get into the playoffs, it just doesn't... Uh, I mean, you don't want to put yourself in a position to have to beat any two teams, you know, in back-to-back -back weeks to get into the playoffs, but especially uh, opponents of that caliber, places that are traditionally tough to play. You've always talked about how tough it is for Effingham to play at Mount Zion. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, this uh, this is a huge game, but the, the Green Wave feeling the same way with uh, Taylorville looming on their schedule next week. They And then they want to be playing Taylorville for a chance at the uh, – at the outright championship in the conference too because with Taylorville uh, putting it on Charleston pretty good tonight it, they, that could be a matchup of 4-0 teams in the Apollo. I hope that people are seeing that this football program has got a lot to be happy about. I, I They're down 10-7 to here at halftime. They lost 14-7 to last week but these are people uh, I mean Mantoon put uh, what 35 points on Mount Zion uh, Taylorville has scored big numbers against people, and the Hearts are holding them to a touchdown or two. You know, so there's a lot to be happy about here, and a break here or there, and the Hearts could be what five and one instead of six, three and three. Effingham has been the stingiest team in the Apollo outside of Taylorville. Effingham has allowed fewer points, and especially if you look at if you look at the Hearts, they've given up 137 points this year, which is uh, Taylorville's given up 41. That's ridiculous. Okay, mm -hmm. so so they're real good. We and we know that, but yeah. uh, but Deffingham is the next best in that category. And you take into consideration the fact that they gave up 37 in Week One and 47 in Week Three. Besides that, they have not given up more than 20 points in any game. Their defense has been great. It's just a matter of putting points on the board because they've also only scored 100 uh, in in six games. That's 
it's more than only Salem and Charleston. I don't really care about any of that so much right now. I just care about them scoring four more points than Matt Toon in the last uh, half of football here. Kickoff about ready to go again. The Hearts do receive. They've got Joe Neiman and Terrence Hill back at the goal line. Here's the kickoff. It goes deep, and it's taken back there. I'm sure it's Corey Osborne back there, not Neiman, and he ended up bouncing back into the end zone on the catch. So that'll be a touchback, and the ball will come out to the 20, and that's where the Hearts will start things here to begin the second half. Yes, Mr. Linsick, uh has quite uh, quite the foot. He is uh, putting it back in the goal and, and past the goal line on every kickoff. So it'll be first and 10 for the Hearts at their 20. Just filed it away for what it's worth. The Hearts will have the wind in the fourth quarter. They will have the wind with them in the fourth quarter. Let's see what happens. Graham started up under center. There's the handoff. And a short gain by Drew Vasquez to the 22-yard line. A gain of two. It'll be second and eight. 10-7 Mattoon. Uh, boy, that late touchdown in the first half for the Hearts. Changed the whole complexion of the game. Now it's anybody's ball game. There's such a big difference between having points on the board and not having points on the board. It's a, it's a real letdown to play a half of football and not get anything on the scoreboard. Graham stays up under center. Hearts in the eye. Going to throw. Going to the far side. The ball is tipped, and it's picked out of the air by Mattoon. An interception by the Wave. Tackle made it about the 24-yard line, and they have great field position. Ball was batted in the air, and the tip drill worked for Mattoon as they got the pick. So first and 10 for Mattoon at the Hart's 24-yard line. Well, that stinks. The ball goes up in the air like that. It's anybody's It's fair game, and Mattoon came away with it. Now they're going to have a real, real short field. Effingham's defense is going to have to step up in a big way. Luke Collings is credited with the interception. So first and 10 for Mattoon at the Hart's 24-yard line. Wowzers. Let's see what happens. Smith's going to go up under center here on first and ten. Here's the pitch to the big man. He's got a good run going. He may go all the way, and he's in for a touchdown. Almost untouched. Garrett Rice scores the touchdown for Mattoon. Wow. Now, there is a flag. Let's see what that's about. Flags at about the five-yard line. You don't suppose somebody would reach in for Mattoon, would you? I got my fingers crossed. That's all I know. <laughs> The official's still talking. Let's see what's up. Looks like they're going to talk to the hearts. Maybe good news here. Here's the information. On the offense, spot foul, 10 yards, still first. Blocking the back. Spot foul on the flags at about the five. So a 10-yard walk off. Maybe the six. We'll see where they sit it down here in a minute. Bottom line is it's not a touchdown. I can erase that TD on the drive chart here. That's back to the 17-yard line. Holy cow. So the flag was thrown at the seven. So they got just a yard or two and then the 10-yard penalty. So back to the 17. The penalty takes it back to the 17-yard line. It'll be first and three. So let's see what happens here. First and three, because that was the first down play. So a net gain of seven out of all that. They're going to throw. Smith caught, and then down goes the receiver. Vasquez tackles him. The cat pass is complete to Nick Corman. Vasquez took him down just as soon as he caught the ball. It's at the 13. So from the 17 to the 13, a gain of four. That should be enough for a first down. Needed three, got four. So move the chains. And it's a new set of downs. Well, now they're calling at the 14. No, 13. I'm sorry. Got the side judge on the 13, but it looks like the ball's on the 14. Bottom line, here's the handoff, and the heart slowed him down, and now they take him down after a short game. And it's Garrett Rice. Ball carrier tackled by Griffin Page. Griffin Page, another stop. Boy, he has just had a bushel basket load of tackles this season. Ball's at the 12. So Again, go ahead and makes it second and eight from the 12 give it yard two. Line. So the spot was at the 14. Again, a two to the 12. It's second and eight. Smith stays up under center here. Looking to throw this time. Going the long way. Pass across the middle. Incomplete. Boy, got hit just as he was letting the ball go. Nice work by Hunter Dively. Got in there and got a piece of him. 
Hunter Dively set him down just about the time the pass was let it go, and it ends up incomplete across the middle. Stops it with 10.25 to go in the third quarter, brings up a third and eight. Well, and the thing is, even though Dively doesn't get the sack there, he puts the pressure on and makes him get rid of that ball a little bit quicker than he probably wanted to, and it, uh, his receiver just wasn't in the spot he needed to be whenever he made the pass. So now it's third and eight at the 12, and let's see if the Hearts can complete the deal here. Boy, an interception gave him the ball at the Hearts 24, and so far it's third and eight at the 12. Smith up under center. Matt Toon in the eye. There's the handoff. Coming to the near side, it's Garrett, and he spins off one, and then down he goes at the 10. Look at Vasquez pick him up and put him down. That was after, I think, Jordan McCabe slowed him down quite a bit. So, nice work by this Effingham defense. Right at the 10. A gain of two. That makes it fourth and six for Mattoon at the 10. Looks like they might kick here. And, and not surprising when at their back. They've got a kicker with plenty of legs. So, But for, for Effingham in this situation, giving him the ball at the 24-yard line, three points on the board uh, is, you know, <laughs> acceptable. You Touchdown. You're, you're ahead this situation. Placement kick gets up it looks good and it is good that extends Mattoon's lead to six it's Mattoon 13 Effingham 7 9 41 to go third quarter back with a kickoff in a minute on 97 9 XFM Stop by Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today and check out the all-new Jeep Renegade. Rugged, fun, and affordable, the Renegade joins the legendary Jeep family with the classic Wrangler, the Jeep Patriot and Compass, Cherokee, and the luxurious Grand Cherokee. Find yours today at Effingham's home for Jeep. Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Five, five plays, 14 yards, took a minute, 41, ends up with a 27-yard field goal by Lincic. And Mattoon's regained a six-point lead. It's 13-7. to seven. Here's the kickoff. Hearts take it inside the five, coming to the near side. Now up the middle. Good return here. Out across the 30. Still on his feet. Out across the 35 near the 40-yard line before Mattoon finally stops him. Nice return there. As the ball's brought all the way that far by Corey Osborne, nice return. He took that kick at the three-yard line, so so this time Linsick doesn't put it in the end zone, and Osborne makes him pay for it by taking it 37 yards all the way out to the 40. So a nice field position for the Hearts, one of their best of the night. First and 10 Effingham at their 40. It's 13-7 to seven after the Mattoon field goal, but boy, it could have been a touchdown. Given the ball at, their, at your own 24-yard line. That's a victory for the Hearts there. Only Hearts give up three. So let's see what happens here. Graham back to the shotgun. They give it to Dravaskas. He's trying the sweep. He's still on his feet. He's out across midfield. Nice work. First down, Effingham. Well, the Hearts haven't run that a whole lot this season. Terrence Hill did a couple of times in the first half tonight. That time it was Vasquez, and he gets it to the mat tune. 49. So a gain of 11 from... The Hearts 40 to the Matt Tune 49, a gain of 11, and the Hearts have a new set of downs. Baseball game's over, they tell me. Cardinals 4, Cubs nothing. So the Cardinals take a 1 nothing lead in the best of seven National League Division Series. They'll play again tomorrow afternoon. Here's the snap from the shotgun. Graham just keeps, and a nice game by Hudson Graham. He takes it inside the Mattoon 40. Yeah, the fake to, fake to Vasquez and then a design run right up the middle for Hudson leaves him just maybe a yard, maybe not even a yard shy of the first down there. Ball was at the 49. Now it's just inside the 40, maybe a half a yard shy, second and one. Hearts trail 13 to 7, 8.54 to go in the third quarter. Long way to go on this one. Graham in the shotgun. Nobody behind him in this set. They bring Vasquez in motion. Matt Toon's after Graham. He's trying to get loose. He can't. Down he goes. Boy, yeah. Matt Toon blitzed from the near side. They had that guy on from came around the end, he and he was untouched. He didn't have a chance. Like Hudson didn't. didn't and, and he didn't go down right away. He was kind of looking for somebody to, to shovel that ball off to. Probably better at that point, though, to not risk the turnover and mm -hmm. just... Take the sack. Yeah, you're not in bad shape. It's third down and about eight. So it's spotted at the 47. So from the 39 to the 47, be a loss of eight. So it's third and eight. Third and eight and a half. They were about a half yard shy of a down. First down. All right. 
Let's see what happens here. Terrence Hill goes down. Terrence Hill on the hand. Matt was waiting. They tried the sweep, and that the one thing about that play is it takes an awfully long time to develop, and sometimes that gives your defense time. And it's no gain. And so it's fourth down. I'm guessing the Hearts will go for it here, but they might punt. Let's see what they're going to punt. That's a tough call. This is right here in the second guess land. <laughs> you know, some people are happy if you do kick. Some people are mad. Logan Smith. Logan Smith's going to kick. They could really pin Mattoon back, and the kicker gets knocked down. And they're saying he just was going for the ball, and so it ends up a punt inside the 25. Down there and they're going to mark it at the 22. Yeah, Smith clearly got knocked down, but the official says no foul. 22-yard punt for Logan, so it's going to give uh, or a 26-yard punt, rather. It's uh, the 22-yard line that Mattoon has the football. Very good. So Mattoon first and 10 at their 22. They lead it 13-7. to 7. 7.21 to go in the third quarter. Smith up under center. Pitch play. And they get a gain of a couple to about the 24. Garrett Rice got the pitch. Hearts are diagnosing that well, plus there's a flag right at the point of the tackle. Let's see what that's about. Flag came in after the play was over, so I'm... <laughs> You've had a few of those tonight, haven't we? Uh, yes. I didn't see anything out there, but uh, Here's we'll find the call. out. Offense, blocking the back. Ten yards, spot foul, still first. Good news for Effingham. Flag's thrown at the 24, ten yards from there. Should set it down at the 14. Actually, it may be even deeper than that. Yeah, it's inside the... No, it is 14-yard line. I, my math was correct. So it's first and 18 for Mattoon at their 14. Not an enviable spot. Let's see what happens here. Smith up under center. Fakes the handoff. Passes across the middle. Caught first down and then some. Boy, what a pretty pass play. They got it out to the 40-yard line. Reese Pryor makes a nice grab right in the middle of the field, and it's first down Mattoon at their 40. Tackle made by Grant Wolf. Once again, it looked like the Hearts had him dead, and Mattoon gets loose. Third catch for Pryor gets him up to 64 yards tonight. Yep, 26-yard completion first and 10 from their own to 40. the 40. First and 10 for Mattoon at their 40-yard line. Just under seven minutes to go third quarter. 13-7, Mattoon leads the Hearts. Last home game of the season. Smith fakes the throw. Now he does go. Got a man out there. The Hearts had a couple of people out there. It falls incomplete. Pass is incomplete. And Actually, it was over. It overthrew everybody. Even Jordan McCabe was out there and overthrew him. So that stops the clock with 6.42 to go in the third period. Brings up a second and ten. We'll have Rams football for you Sunday, don't forget. They're heading to Green Bay to play those Packers. Kick off at noon Sunday at Lambeau Field. Hear it on 97.9 XFM, pregame at 11. Smith up under center. Hearts are faking a blitz. Smith drops back to pass, rolling to the far side. There's the pass. It is caught, I think, and good for a first pass down. Is complete. Alec Raboyne on the, the first down pass was two. complete to Alec Raboyne. He had a pretty good night last week, caught a touchdown pass. Two Effingham's 48, so they needed 10. They got 12. The first down, Matt Toon at Effingham's 48-yard line. Yeah, first catch for Raboyne tonight, but yeah, he's generally a popular target. So a new set of downs for the Wave. Smith staying up under center. Boy, played almost the whole first half in the shotgun. There's a handoff. And once again, it's Garrett Rice on the carry. Rice, and he gets it inside the 45 before he's taken down. And another flag. Made by Frank Snyder, John. Marker on the play. Let's see what this is about. The spot of the football is the 44 of Effingham. And let's see what the foul is. Refer referee's going to share in a minute here. We have a personal foul. Face mask, 15 Well, you would presume that's on Effingham, and it is. Although I saw an offensive face mask the other day. It and can certainly happen. But that's pretty rare. 15-yard walk-off. That'll give it to Matt Toon inside the Hearts 30. Well, that's an unfortunate situation. 
So it's first and 10 for Mattoon at Effingham's 29. So the, fact, the infraction occurred at the 44, 15 yards into the 29. Smith with a new set of downs. There's the pitch play to Garrett Rice. He goes the far side, still on his feet, and he stumbles and Rice. got maybe inside the 20 before they and took him down. Vasquez. Very close to another first down. Vasquez another stop. Boy, between he and uh, Griffin Page, they just get the tackles by the truckload. It's a pretty safe bet. One of them's going to be involved in just about every play. Nine, There's a whistle. The, the officials want a timeout. They may measure this. Well, we've got an Effingham player hurt out there, too. Okay, and here he comes off the field now, thankfully, but limping noticeably, and that's the Hearts' Brendan Dawkins, I think. Mm -hmm. Let me check is my number. Caleb Martin or is it Dawkins? 54. 54. Caleb Martin. Pardon me. Caleb Martin is the player who's injured. Not putting any weight on that uh, right Caleb leg, Martin, which player shaking up. He, uh, he's already got a pretty sizable brace on it, it looks yeah. like. Caleb, one of our seniors. Caleb Hopefully it's nothing 20. serious. So let's see what happens. Pitch play again. Garrett Rice with the football for Mattoon still on his feet. Somebody better stop him, and he's diving in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Mattoon. Went down Garrett the far sideline. Marks had a couple of shots at him, but Mattoon, some good blocking on that run. And Rice into the end zone. That extends Mattoon's lead to 19-7. The score comes with 5.20 left in the third quarter. And now they'll try the extra point. So the line of scrimmage was the 19. Rice takes it in for the score, making it 19-7. And they were going to kick, and now they aren't. They're apparently going to go for two. That's going to apparently go for a two-point conversion. Which was news to Lensick because he'd gone out to kick. Quickly he ran back off the field, though, and they're going to try for two. So Smith up under center. Single back, that's Garrett Rice, of course. Comes to the far side, dives in, and he's in for the two-point conversion. For the two -point so conversion. that will extend it to now a full two-touchdown two and two-extra-point lead. That's what Matt Toon's thought was there. The two-point conversion extends the lead to 21-7. to 5.20 to go, third quarter. Kickoff on the way in a minute here on 97.9 XFM. Northside Ford in Effingham is proud to be a sponsor of high school sports. Check out the new F-150. The future of tough is here today, so you can own work now like never before. Stop by and take a test drive. Contact Northside Ford today or visit them online at effinghamford.com. Call today at 347-3450. You'll pick a big game yardage every time Cannon. the time so Thank you. Here's the kickoff. It's taken by Corey Osborne, and he gets it back out Corey across the 25, the 25 yard line. to about the 26-yard line. Let's see where they set it down. It'll be first down for Effingham there. 21-7, Matt Toon now. Call it the 26. That's where they'll set it down. Seven plays, 78 yards. It took 201 off the clock, highlighted by Rice's 19-yard touchdown run. The run for two was good, and that was Rice as well. And Mattoon leads it now 21 to 7 with 5.11 to go in the third quarter. Hand off up the middle. The Hearts well, get a little. They brought Terrence Hill up the middle that time from the across the 25 to the 27. Again, the yard makes so they got a yard. The and that'll make it second and nine. Tough sledding up the middle. Matt Toon has, for the most part, clogged that up. There's been a few times where Effingham has gotten some success there in chunks, but for the most part, they've uh, had trouble between the tackles. Graham going to throw. Pass is caught. First down, Effingham, out across the 45-yard line. Corey Osborne nice work. Reception. Corey Osborne, who's been just such a lift at the receiver spot, makes the grab, and they'll score it right at the 47-yard line. So from the 27 to the 47, a 20-yard pass completion to Corey Osborne, and it's first and 10, Effingham. Still lots of time, 425 to go in the third quarter. Hearts are down two touchdowns. Grimm up under center, Hearts in the eye. Deep back has it. That's Vasquez. No, that's Hill. He's got a good game going, and Terrence might have another first down. He's inside the Mattoon 45 before they take him down. Up oh, right on the 45 is where they're going to lay it down. 
So from Effingham's 47 to Mattoon's 45, that's a gain of eight, and it's second and two. Hart's hurrying up the offense a little here. Gain of eight, it's second and two from... Graham again up under center. There's the handoff. Up the middle, Hill has the first down, still on his feet. He's inside the 35 and near the 30 before they finally take him down. Nice run. First down for Effingham. About the Mattoon 34-yard line. So from the 45 to the 34, that's a gain of 11. Out goes Craig, in comes Denton. They're the shuttle service as far as plays. Hill comes out now for Effingham for a breather. So that'll probably put Neiman back in at the fullback spot. Vasquez at the tailback. And hitting the point of attack. Vasquez, big run. Coming to the near side. Inside the 20 before they take him down. He takes it inside the 20. Ran at an angle that time, Dustin. Stead up the middle, and it seemed to make the difference. Yeah, found a little space there on the near side. Matt Tune over pursuing the way we saw Effingham occasionally get caught being a little over aggressive and, and able to, to chunk up a big run there, another first down. 34 to the 18, a gain of 16. 3.15 to go, third quarter. Hart's on the march, trailing by two touchdowns. Deep back, that's Vasquez again. He's got a big run going. He's inside the 10 and near the 5 before they take him down. Call it the 6-yard line from the 18 to the 6, a gain of 12. And Hart's have another first down, and it's first and goal to go at the 6. It's drew up to 94 yards on 12 <laughs> carries. So far, Graham up under center. There's the handoff, deep back. It's Vasquez again, and he is in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Effingham. Touchdown, Effingham. Drew Vasquez takes it to the house. And the Hearts are right back in it at 21 to 13. Second touchdown for Drew. 100 yards on 13 carries for him now. Terrence Hill, 88 yards on 14 carries. The Hearts have done a good job on the ground tonight. Score comes with 2.53 to go in the third quarter. Makes it 21 to 13. Hearts will kick for one here. As much as we talk about how tough it's been up the middle, they have been able to find space at times and break off some big plays. Vasquez to hold, Zeruzan to kick, good snap, placement, kicks up, kick looks good, and it is good. It's 21 to 14, Hart's back down by just a touchdown, 2.53 to go, third quarter, kickoff on the way in a minute here on 97.9 XFM. Al's Tire Martin Electronic Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Effingham's home for Verizon Wireless has two locations, car stereo installation and service, Bluetooth and mobile accessories. Plus, Al's top-notch automotive service will keep your team going all season long. Stop by Al's today. 8-8. Sean Zeruzan's kick. Taking it about the 15 by Matt Toon. They run it up the middle. Now bring it back to the near side. He's out across the 40 before they finally oh, take him down. Return. Nice return yeah, that time by Jordan Noah Kate. High. He gets it to the 40. Yeah, let's Another see where they are going to spot. Right on the 40. As as so they took it at about the 16. And he returns and it to the 40. So nice return for Noah High and Matt Toon. Pretty good field position to start this drive. Hart's uh, scoring plays. Uh, scoring... Uh, <laughs> the hard score, seven plays, 74 yards, 227 off the clock. Drew Vasquez carried it in from the six for the score. Jerusalem's kick was good, and the hearts are back within 21 to 14. Now they got to stop Mattoon again. Smith up under center, coming to the near side. Garrett Rice tripped up at about the 45. Garrett Rice. Vasquez again, his Drew Vasquez. 90th touchdown, 90th tackle tonight. I wish he had 90 touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have anything to write on by now. Well, don't suppose it would matter too much. Small price to pay. Five-yard gain, it's second and five. Smith up under center. They were in the shotgun the first half. They've gone up under center the second half. Garrett Rice coming to the near side, has first down and then a whole bunch more. Rice Once again, again Vasquez has to ride him out of bounds. Drew Vasquez. Man. So it's kind of like Rice and Vasquez. They got this one-on-one -on -one deal going. Well... It's to the Effingham 44. It is first and 10 at the Effingham 11 44. yards on that gallop to the 44 of Effingham. He's up to 134 yards on 17 carries. And so uh, had a big uh, big second half. The Hearts are going to need to figure out a way to neutralize Garrett. 
Let's see what happens on this one. New set of downs for Matt Toon at Effingham's 44. Gave it to the up back that time, and the heart stayed home. Good job. Frank Snyder, John, says you ain't going anywhere. You might as well fall down. First tackle grabbing him was Frank Snyder, John. So the handoff is to Alex Lilly, and they'll mark it at the 40. Three, so a gain of just one, and it's second and nine. Just giving Effingham something to something else to think about. Billy, six carries in the first half. This is the first touch for him after the break. Hart scrambling. They see something different on defense here. Braden Smith with the pitch. And down nice. goes Rice, and he bad lost the football. Boy, Vasquez again trips him up. It's like Vasquez, that's your man, Drew. You take care of him. Yeah, he just launched himself and, and made made contact and tripped him up enough. I, Drew just, man, he <laughs> just so aggressive there in the backfield. He's fearless. No gain. Still at the 43. It's third and nine. Well, one more in the hearts. Yeah, big play here. In a bad way. Let's see what happens here. Still at Effingham's 43. Pitch play. Up the middle, Rice, this time. Oh, a big seam. He's got a big gain. He's inside the 25 before yeah, they Rice take him down. Up a first down for the Green Wave. Brought him back to up the middle. And uh, tackle made by Blake White. Blake White had to come over from one of the corner spots to make the tackle. It ends up inside the 25 of the 23. So from the 43 to the 23, a 20-yard gain, and Matt Toon with another first and 10. First and 10. That was your last chance to maybe get them yeah. to punt. They, they've shown a willingness to punt from about that spot before, but now it's going to be squarely in four-down territory. They're working with the wind, remember, this quarter, which has 39 seconds left. Smith going to throw. Cross the middle. It is incomplete. Off the hands of the intended receiver, who did everything he could, but Reese Pryor couldn't quite bring that one in. Incomplete pass stops clock with 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Brings up a second and 10. Next week, we go to Mount Zion. Last conference game of the season. Then it's off to Muhammad. Last game of the regular season. So we got all these lasts in a row here. Hopefully not the last game of the season. Though. That's the bottom line there. Smith. Pitch play to guess who? Rice up the middle, and the hearts Rice on the pitch stuff out. it pretty well. Might have got inside the 20. Uh, right on the 20. So gain of three on that play. And that'll make it third and Parker seven. Parker Seacrest along with Hill from Hunter Dively. Hunter Dively, Parker Seacrest on the stop for Effingham three, there. Third and, seven, third and seven, seven at the hearts 20. Smith hunkered down. Now he stands back up. Almost, checks the sidelines. Hart's almost jumped off sides there. They're not going to run another play. It's going to end the quarter. So, Mattoon decides, we'll just let the quarter end. That's the end of three. They're up ahead, so they the say, we'll just let the time elapse. Three quarters in the books here. Senior night at Effingham. It's Mattoon 21, Effingham 14. Fourth quarter on the way in a minute on 97.9 XFM. From an oil change to new brakes, or possibly a major overhaul, our service makes a difference at Dan Heck Chevrolet Toyota in Effingham. Trust your car or truck repairs to the most experienced repair shop in the area. Look for our specials online at danheck.com. Recognizing the Hearts golfers, we talked about the kids at halftime. Again, the girls won their regional. The boys finished second in their regional. They're both headed to sectional play on Monday. St. Anthony has two girls going to sectional. And uh, St. Anthony's boys team is going to sectional. I tell you, a lot of good golf around this area. See what happens. They're on the Hearts 20. It's third and seven. High snap to Smith. He's going to throw. He goes to the corner with it. It's almost intercepted. It falls incomplete. I thought maybe Blake White was going to be able to get a hand on that, but it ended up being just out of his reach. Smith kind of just threw it up for grabs. So that makes it fourth and seven for Mattoon at Effingham's 20. <clears throat> and this is where we expect to see Mr. Lensick come out and put a boot in the one. This is going to be a you know fairly deep try, though, from the 20-yard line, line of scrimmage. You're talking, what, 36, 37 yards? Yep, they'll set it down at the 27. It'll be a 37-yard attempt. Smith is his holder, by the way. Braden Smith, quarterback. Has pretty good hands being a quarterback, so that happens a lot on teams. Ready for the snap. There's the placement. The kick's up, and it might crawl across. 
It is good. 37-yard field goal. And that pushes the lead back to 10 for Mattoon. It's Mattoon 24, Effingham 14, 11.48 left. Kenna, let's take a 30-second break. Be back on 97.9 XFM. Stop by Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today and check out the all-new Jeep Renegade. Rugged, fun, and affordable, the Renegade joins the legendary Jeep family with the classic Wrangler, the Jeep Patriot and Compass, Cherokee, and the luxurious Grand Cherokee. Find yours today at Effingham's home for Jeep. Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. All right, that was an eight-play, 40-yard drive, Dustin, the time. 3.05. Thank you, 3.05 on that drive. And it culminates in a 37-yard field goal for Lensick. And I'll tell you what, Zachary Lensick's had a heck of a night. Well, he's he's been the difference in this game pretty much. Ten-point game. He's kicked three field goals, correct? So uh, yep. it's quite the, quite the factor. Not something you say about a lot of high school games. Yeah, because typically you would feel really good because you'd only be down seven or you might be tied. You're down 10 in this one because of six foot. Hart's slow line drive kick is picked up and returned well out across the 35 or to the 35-yard line. So the Hart's going to have Osborne decent field position to get started. Corey Osborne took that low line drive kick by Matt Toon. And we still have people on the ground. There we got everybody peeled off the turf. <laughs> and now we're ready to resume action. First and 10 for Effingham at their 35-yard line. Osborne's done a nice job returning Our kicks seven, tonight. 10 at the 35. Again, uh, had not played football before this year and has turned into a world beater for the Arts. Three returns for a grand total of 84 yards. A couple of catches, so he's doing well. 11.39 left in this one. Hearts are down 10 again now. Here's a nice return, or a nice run by Terrence Hill. Got it near the 45-yard line. Good gain on first down. Still a lot of time in this game, of course, but, uh, you know, every drive becomes that much more important. The Hearts need to move the ball down the field. That's at the 44, so nine-yard pickup for Terrence to get things started. Second and one. Graham will stay up under center on second and short. In the eye. Deep back's got it. That's Terrence Hill. Here he comes to the near side. He's got a first down a whole bunch more. He's into Mattoon Terry or ter Man. Mattoon Territory inside the 45-yard line. And got followed out of bounds, didn't he? Yeah, you know, he's, he's right on the borderline of what's acceptable and what's not. We might have a different opinion about yeah, what is. You know, I got some rose-colored glasses on here. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. Six and seven. That's 13 yards, and that's enough for a first down. Sitting at the Mattoon 43-yard line. Here's a handoff up the gut this time. He'll, up the he'll got it inside the 40. Right at the 40. Give him three. Be second and seven. Still 11 minutes to go, so you can afford to run a lot of time here and Get yourself back within three with a score. You certainly are in a position where you feel like you have to put the ball in the air, you know, and move the ball down the field that way. But, uh, but uh, you know, you've got two or three possessions left probably. Got Neiman in the fullback spot. Got Hill in the deep back spot. And Terrence got a good run going. Got it inside the 35 before they take him down. Very near another first down. Well, if Terrence is going to keep breaking off, you know, runs of 9 and 13, and that one there looks like it's going to be a pickup of maybe seven more mm -hmm. than uh, – Hey, you know, keep giving them, feed them the rock. To the 33, gain of seven. It's third and about one, even less than one, really. See what happens. Deep back's got it. Big gain, big hole. Keep on your feet, young man. That's Drew Vasquez. He's inside the He's five. In Touchdown, Effingham. Yeah. What a run by Drew Vasquez. And the hearts are back within four. My goodness, what a ball game. 24 to 20. A 33 yard touchdown run. And the Hearts are back within 24 to 20. They've never led in this game, but they've sure been knocking at the door. 33 yard touchdown run. Drew Vasquez, his third run, touchdown run of the night. And now he'll hold as Sean Zeruzan tries to make it a three point game with the extra point kick. Senior holding for the senior on the snap from the senior. Piggish with a snap. Placement by Vasquez. The kick's up by Zeruz, and it's good. 24-21. I'm not going anywhere. 10-03 left in this one. Back with a kickoff in a minute on 97.9 XFM. 
Northside Ford and Effingham is proud to be a sponsor of high school sports. Check out the new F-150. The future of tough is here today, so you can own work now like never before. Stop by and take a test drive. Contact Northside Ford today or visit them online at EffinghamFord.com. 65 yards took a minute 45 highlighted by Drew Vasquez's 33 yard touchdown run. Sean Zeruzan's kick was good and the Hearts are back within 24-21 with 10.03 to go. Hold on to your old fedora as Larry Wilson used to say. Hearts have the wind remember here in the fourth quarter. Kick off to the 10. Mattoon returns it to about the 24 and Noah High got hit and now there's a flag and see what that's about. Well, now's not the time for any cheap shots. Not that there ever is a time for it, but especially not uh, in a one-possession game. I didn't see anything Ohio untoward. No, hi, the return man is still down, not laying on the ground, but taking his time getting up. So Matt, blocking it back on the return. So that's on Matt too. So, so, you know, uh, Noah High has had some nice kick returns, and they were able to, to keep that one from getting out of hand and then tack on a 10-yard pill at the end of it. It looks like the Green Wave are going to have to start at their own 14-yard line. Mm -hmm. here. Yep, he took it at about the 10. High returned it to the 24 and then the penalty. So back to the 14, that's where Mattoon will set up shot, or Hartz will set up, Mattoon will set up shot, pardon me, with 9.58 left in the game. The stoppage of play has an effect on things, you know. I mean, for, for Mattoon, you know, they've watched one of their friends get rolled off the field here pretty soon, and and that's, you know, that's going to be tough to watch. And, and for both teams, you know, they've got a good lather worked up at this point, you know. They're they're in a little bit of a rhythm, and and uh, now we've been, you know, kind of, kind of sitting here, it, you know, at a, at a standstill for 15, 20 minutes, and it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be a challenge for, for both of them to, to get back in that uh, frame of mind for the game as uh, they find, as sure. they are moving uh, moving Mr. High toward the ambulance. Wheeling him off, he's off the playing field now, and then onto the track. Again, Effingham blessed with a nice all-weather track, so they can get the young man to the ambulance unit in short order and then they'll get him off to St. Anthony's and get checked out. So as we resume play, 9.58 to go in regulation. Mattoon has it first and 10 at their 14-yard line after they got called for a penalty on the run back. 24-21, Mattoon leads Effingham. Hearts would love a stop here. Really need a stop. We're getting to the point now where you can't hardly trade touchdowns anymore. Yeah, I mean, Matt Toon has moved the ball well. Both teams have moved the ball real well here in the second half, but if there was ever a time for a stop, this is it. Got him backed up to the 14. You know, if you could throw him for a loss on a play or two here and get them really back up against their end zone, I mean, set yourself up with the short field, get the ball back. These are, these are all things that uh, you'd love to see happen, but it's easier said than done the way uh, – the way that Garrett Rice has been running the football in this game. He's 157 yards on 20 carries right now. Hearts have been smart about getting out there, bouncing around, stretching, and doing what they can to get loose. It is a cool night. Yes. And windy night. So the Hearts have done well to get stretched out, and they're good to go. So we're ready to resume play. 9.58 to go in the fourth quarter. Again, it's Matt 24, Effingham 21. Line. First and 10, but at their own 14. So let's see if the Hearts can get a stop here. Smith's going to go up under center. Center on first and ten. There's the snap. He hands it off up the middle and a decent game out Rice near the, the 20. Garrett Rice on the carry and of course his designated tackler Drew Vasquez makes the stop <laughs> at the 19 yard line. Four, 14 to the 19 at second and five. I mean it's Rice has been so good five yards feels like you know not a whole lot for him. <laughs> Smith stays up under center. There's a handoff again to the back, and that's Rice, Rice again. again He's out across the 20, and maybe somebody besides yeah, Drew on the stop. Hunter Dively got up in there and in the mix, so number 61 on the tackle. Out across the 20 to the 22. Line. It'll be third and a long yard. So third and about a yard, and they push it toward the middle, and I think the heart stuffed it. Smith on the keeper. They just let Braden Smith, the quarterback, keep that time, and the Hearts stuffed it. 
Interesting that uh, they have not called Braden. He, they called his number one time in this game way back in the first quarter. It's fourth down. So it's fourth down. The ball's at the 23-yard line. So fourth and one. And it looks like they're going to not hunt. Holy cow. Boy, if they, if they don't. Smith's up awfully close to it. Yeah, he's not he's not far as quite as far back as a couple of times he's kicked it on his own. And he's kicking against the wind. And now Matt Dune calls time. Maybe cooler heads prevail there. Timeout Green Wave, 831 left. Back in 30 seconds. It's Matt Tune 24 Effingham 21 here on 979 XFM. Al's Tire Martin Electronic Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Effingham's home for Verizon Wireless has two locations, car stereo installation and service, Bluetooth and mobile accessories. Plus, Al's top-notch automotive service will keep your team going all season long. Stop by Al's today. Bad tune called time with 8.31 to go because it looked like they were going to go for it. It was, you know, maybe a little less than a yard to go, but it's fourth down. How many things can go wrong and you've got Effingham knocking on your door then? Yeah, well, and the big thing is that, I mean, you're on the 23-yard line, so if, if it doesn't go right for you, then you're giving Effingham, you know, incredibly short field. That's, that's the big thing. Uh, they're not going to punt. Unless Smith can get rid of it in a hurry. So fourth and one at their own 23. He drives out here to the near side. He's going to throw, and it is incomplete. And the Hearts have it first and 10 at Mattoon's 23-yard line. Well, you know, I'll give Troy Johnson a lot of credit for, for having some uh, uh, intestinal fortitude there, perhaps. But, uh, but uh, <laughs> I... The, the end result certainly is going to, if Effingham scores here, it's going to get second guess quite a bit. Well, Braden Smith rolled out. They obviously had a nice play designed, and they had a man out here to throw to, but the pass was offline. He had to dive for it to make it even close. It was incomplete, and the Hearts get the ball first and 10 at Mattoon's 23-yard line. Wow, I in mean, a three-point game. Mattoon's offense has been real good, but uh, just... Let's That's see tough. what happens. Deep back, that's Terrence Hill, and he's inside the 20 near the 16. Good run on first down. Terrence Hill gets a good gain there. To the 17. Tackle made. 23 to the 17, a gain of six, and it's second and four. Up under center for Hudson Graham. Hand off to the deep back. That's Hill. Got away from one man. Down he goes, though. Yeah. Hill again on the carry. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard. By 32, Noah Checking the side judge. He's got it at the 16. They got a yard out of that. That is. That's a blessing there. Uh, <laughs> it's great spot. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> All right. So it's third and three. Hearts with the ball at Mattoon 16. Hudson Graham hand off to Terrence Hill and down he goes. Big loss back outside the 20 yard line. Holy cow. Nice play by Mattoon. Well, surely the Hearts will kick here and try for the tie, right? It's going to be a, it's going to be a long one. But they got the win with them. Back to the 20. It's at the 20, so they'll set it down at the 27. Be a 37-yard field goal. It'll be fourth and That's probably about 20. what Sean's got, so they're going to go for it. So it's back to the 20. Lost five on that. Here we go. Graham going to throw. Hudson's got time. Going to the end zone. Got Craig there. It's incomplete. Was he being held? No. Pass was incomplete. incomplete. It's Mattoon's football. Trip well, that was the shortest the series known to man. Still 6.51 to go. Well, the Mattoon sideline breathing a sigh of relief right now, probably. They're looking for that bullet they just dodged. Well, because that's a move that, I mean, if that ends up costing you the game, you better believe you're going to get second guess quite a bit. And uh, it worked out. It worked I, out okay for them. I understand confidence in your offense. So it's first and 10, Mattoon at their 20. Boy, the hearts, uh, that didn't Matt take long. 20. So, first and 10, Effingham, or excuse me, first and 10, Mattoon at their own 20 yard line. 6.51 to go. Mattoon still in front, 24 21. Smith back to the shotgun. Going to throw. Pass is caught and dropped. Or is it a fumble? Nope, they say it's incomplete. Boy, I tell you, for a minute, people got excited. 
But it turned out to be an incomplete pass. Brings up second and ten. I think Vasquez came in there and popped that one out after maybe it was in the hands of the receiver for a split second. Grant Wolf also in on the play. From the 20. So second and ten, clock stops with 6.47 left in the game. Mattoon by three with the ball at their own 20-yard line. Smith again from the shotgun. Looking to throw, fakes left, rolls right. Looking, looking, there's the pass. It's incomplete. Too tall. Little strong on that one. Nice work by Blake White. He was right there with the intended receiver. That was Alec Raboyne, and it's incomplete. And that stops it with 6.42, and now it's third and 10. Well, inaccuracy is a little tougher when you try to make the throw on the run like Braden Smith did right there. Now, he's, to his credit, he's done it a lot tonight. He seems to be comfortable that way, but, uh, but he airmailed that one a bit. 10 for 22 now, and he is... Uh, he hasn't completed a pass in his last five tries. Third and ten for Mattoon at their 20. Smith from the shotgun. Rolls right. Looking for help. Here come the Hearts. There's the pass. Got a man there. Knocked down really by the Hearts. Good defense out there. Brings up fourth down. Jordan McCabe with a nice knock away. And it's fourth and ten. That play started almost out almost the same way with uh, with Braden Smith, a little pump fake, and then he rolls back to his right. Another throw on the run, but McCabe was right there to break up the play. And I mean, sure, it, I, after, the, after the last time, I would say that they're going to go ahead and let Braden Smith kick this one out of there. Well, this time it's more than 10. That's... All right, timeout Hearts. They've got a they got a lot to think about here. They could get, end up in really good field yep. position here because they're kicking against the win now, the fourth Mattoon is. So Hearts call time. Kenna, can we take a 30-second break? It's 6.36 to go. Mattoon leading the Hearts 24-21 here on 97.9 XFM. From an oil change to new brakes or possibly a major overhaul, our service makes a difference at Dan Heck Chevrolet Toyota in Effingham. Trust your car or truck repairs to the most experienced repair shop in the area. Look for our specials online at danheck.com. All righty. Well, here we go. Mattoon's going to punt for sure this time. Fourth and ten at their 20. Hearts could end up with great field position because Mattoon's kicking against the wind. Smith gets rid of it, and boy, it's a nothing kick. Yep. It but ends up at about the 42-yard line. Hearts are going to get it. Well into Mattoon territory. I was going to say it went it, it went out of bounds. They're going to spot this at the 30 32 yard line. So it was off the side of the foot. That's a 12 yard Still putt. Out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Once again, the Hearts. I was going by flight distance. It was already out of bounds. So you play the angle. The officials do, and it's the 32 yard line. So the Hearts. Now I'll admit we just had it at the 20-something and didn't do anything. So let's see what happens this time. First and 10 at Mattoon's 32-yard line. Hearts are only down three, gang, 24-21. In the eye, going deep. Oh, Vasquez got hit, and he got hit one more time, and now he goes down. Ouch. Mattoon said hello there. Big defensive play, by the way. 6.20 left in the game, by the way. That'll bring up second and a whole bunch. Well, we saw it on the last possession. We're seeing it now. Matt Toon's keying in on those run plays between tackles. And, you know, going to have to try something a little different after a loss of three yards there for Drew. They're, you know, they're sniffing that out. Lost back to the 35 at second and 13. Throwing might be an option. Let's see here. That's some Graham up under center. Hearts in the eye. Going to throw, looking, rolling to the near side. Get him a block, let him run. He says, that's a good idea, Greg, and he takes it near the 30 before they run him out of bounds. Nobody open, so run the ball. Got some back to the 33-yard line, gain of two. So now here we are sitting at third and 11. Hmm. Well, you suppose, well, let's throw, and Matt Toon says, okay, we'll send about eight kids. Let's see what happens. Lining up on the near hash mark here. Maybe just a quick dump of some kind. Third and 11. Let's see what happens. Fakes a handoff, looking to throw, can't get his footing. Now he tries to run with it. He gets it inside the 30, and down he goes at the 29. On the scramble. So it's going to be fourth down and about 10. Didn't get much out of that one. 29, gain of four. So it's fourth and maybe seven. Yeah. 
All right, they're sitting at Mattoon's 29-yard line. It's fourth and seven. Let's see what the hearts call. Graham back into the shotgun here. He's got Vasquez lined up beside him. Going to throw. Vasquez down the middle. There's the pass. It's incomplete. And Mattoon gets the football back. Yeah, pass that's... is incomplete. Trevor Cake break the intended Oh, receiver. my. Once well, again, Mattoon holds and all right. take over. With now, all of a sudden, the defenses man. have gotten tougher than ever. So it's still 24-21 Mattoon. Now there's 433 left. And Mattoon's still not in very good field position. They'll get it first and 10 at their 29. Hart's defense has played great in this second half. Mattoon with just one score since the half. 24-21, they're up by three, though. Smith's going to go under center here on this series. Again, Mattoon starting at their 29. There's a pitch, and there's a whistle. And it's in Mattoon's backfield. I think the hearts are going to like this. Maybe the green wave getting a little anxious to get that play, get that ball snap. They are indeed walking it back five yards. Ball start, five yards. Okay, five-yard walk-off will take it back to the 24. Now it's first and 15. So we did see that they were going to go with the run there, which they kind of got away from that last possession. Three pass plays and out. It took 20 seconds off the clock. With, with Grant, Garrett Rice running the ball the way he has been, 166 yards on 22 carries tonight. I, I mean, you think they're just going to feed it to him and see what happens here. Remember, they're working against the wind here in the fourth quarter, too. Smith up under center, going to throw. Here come the hearts, and down he goes. Big sack inside the 15. Boy, the hearts got in there in a hurry that time. Noah Spencer, old number 80, got in there and took him down to the 14. Goodness. 24 to the 14, a loss of 10. Boy, did he get there in a nanosecond. So that makes it second and 25 because they just had the five-yard penalty. So second and 25 now, Mattoon back on their 14. Four minutes left. That's one thing to remind yourselves of. Each team with two timeouts left. Mattoon, a three-point lead. Play clock's down to five. Smith under center. Play clock down to two. There he gets it off, and there's the handoff up the gut. And here comes Rice, and down he goes. And the ball's loose, and the hearts might have it. I don't know. It's, it's going to be tough. Hearts have got four kids down there. I, think he, I see one Green Wave helmet in there. And I think that's the one who's got the ball. So Mattoon got it, but it ends up Rice with a football, I guess. He's the one that came out of there with, I think, at the 30, excuse me, at the 22. So the ball's at the 22. That makes it third and, or fourth down, pardon me. Right? Third. Third down and 16. Ball's at the 22-yard line. We've seen more improbable third down conversions from Mattoon tonight, so don't get complacent here with your FNM's defense. And timeout, Mattoon. Timeout call Wave calls time. 2.59 to go in this one. It's Mattoon 24, Effingham 21. Back in 30 seconds, Kenna, here on 97.9 XFM. Stop by Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today and check out the all-new Jeep Renegade. Rugged, fun, and affordable, the Renegade joins the legendary Jeep family with the classic Wrangler, the Jeep Patriot and Compass, Cherokee, and the luxurious Grand Cherokee. Find yours today at Effingham's home for Jeep. Geckner Brothers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. All right, time out. Called by Mattoon, 2.59 left. It's Mattoon 24, Effingham 21. Mattoon's got it third and 16 at their 23. Here's the handoff up the middle. Somebody better tackle Rice. He's out across the 35, but he is still shy of a first down. That's going to bring up an interesting situation yeah. for, Mar for Mattoon now. Ball's going to be spotted at the 35. So a gain of 13, but that's not enough for a first down. It's fourth and about four. Cody Line comes off limping. That's not good news for the Hearts. They're going to go for it. Fourth and four at their 35. Hearts with another chance at some great field position if they don't convert. They've got to stop Garrett Rice. Smith from the shotgun. Going to throw. No, he's going to kick. 
And he kicks it, and it hits just inbounds at the Hart's 33-yard line. A little pooch kick there on the run. Looks like they're going to spot it at the 34. Well, you never know what to expect with him, whether he's going to throw, run, or kick. So your defense just kind of has to hang loose. It goes out at the 34 of Effingham. 31-yard punt for Braden Smith that time. Not too bad on the situation as it was. Yeah, for sure. The on-the-run kick, kind of the rugby-style kick, you're never sure what you're going to get there, but uh, didn't do too badly. All right, the Hearts are down three. They have two timeouts left. They have it first and ten at their 34. Going to throw. Graham got a man. Craig can't get there. Overthrew him. No, actually, that was Corey Osborne. Corey Osborne was the intended receiver. He just overthrew him. Sure did. He had his. He had several steps. He was open downfield, but yeah, just the uh, mm -hmm. ball just wasn't there for him. All right, stops clock with 2:08 to go. Second and ten. Hearts again with the ball at their 34-yard line. They're trailing 24-21. Boy, lost at Taylorville 14 to seven last week. Down 24-21 here to Mattoon. Golly. Let's see if they can pull this one out. Graham's going to go to the shotgun. Got Hill in motion. Graham keeps it, drives, gets out across the 40, and then they bend him back, maybe at the 40, actually. And we're under two minutes to go. So it's at the 40, gain of six. That'll make it third and about five. <clears throat> Ball's just shy of the 40. Down to a minute 44 to go. With the amount of time left, Greg, obviously you're in the position where Effingham's going to go for it on fourth down, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Third and long four here from the shotgun. Here's the snap. Nope, direct snap to Vasquez, and there's nowhere for Drew to go. He's back to the line of scrimmage. Got out of bounds wisely. That stops the clock with a minute 27 to go, and you don't have to burn the timeout yet. But that brings up fourth down now. They give him a yard to the 41, so it's fourth and three. Fourth and three at the 41. It all comes down to this. Ah, yeah, this pretty much big enchilada time here. Graham went to the sidelines to check it out. Crake's in the ball game. They bring Hill out. So Crake split wide right. Osborne's even wide righter. Rest of the lineup in the eye. They're looking. Graham fires a strike. It's caught. Good for the first down at the 45. You know, Greg, I didn't have the guts to say it, but I thought, wouldn't it be nice if they put the ball in the air here? Nobody would expect that. And that's exactly what they did. Just a short little route to Craig right there. Trevor Craig makes the catch at the 46. A gain of five, and the Hearts get that first down. Down to a minute 18 to go. Lined up in the eye. Still got the two guys split wide right, though. Keep that in mind. Graham's going to throw. Across the middle, got a man there. No, he overthrew Corey Osborne. Well, that's twice he's overthrown a guy. A reminder, the hearts are running with the wind now, and sometimes that's as much a problem as it is a blessing because you get a little air under those passes, and sometimes they go a few more yards than you intend. Stops the clock with a minute eight to go, and it's second and ten. Hearts with the ball at their own 47-yard line, 46-yard line. 24-21, Mattoon. Just outside a minute to go. Graham back to the shotgun. Vasquez in motion. Fakes a handoff. Gonna throw. Got time. Got a man. Come on, Terrence Hill. No! Oh! His hands incomplete. Off his hands incomplete. Oh, there was nothing overthrown about that one. That <laughs> oh, perfect, baby. <laughs> Man, stops clock with a minute one to go. Yeah, Brings Hudson, up third and ten. Hudson definitely put that one exactly oh, where he needed to. Gosh. That's that's tough to take. Graham hustles over to the sidelines. It's third and ten. He still got two more bites at the apple here. All right. Hearts with the ball at their 47. Trailing by three with a minute one to go. Two timeouts for Effingham here also. Hill in motion. Graham up the middle. Got a good run going. Got the first down. He's inside the 40. First down, Effingham. 56 seconds. Clock he's stops. Hudson Graham hurt. is down. Now he's up. It's like John Jones used to be for the hearts. 
and he knock him down. He'd just sit there a minute and get back up and run back to the huddle. And they use one of their timeouts here. So timeout hearts. It's to the Mattoon 39, Dustin. We better do our homework here. So 3 and 11 is 14 yards on the play. So Hudson Graham, big first down, and it's first and 10 at Mattoon's 39, and the Hearts call time with 56 seconds left. They have one more timeout. Yeah, you got you got plenty of time. You know, you don't necessarily have to take those super deep shots down the field like they did on the first two plays of that last set of downs. Um, I, but by the same token, you saw Terrence Hill create space and get himself open. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't. Not many teams they play against are going to have anyone that can stay with him. No. So they may go back to it again. Now you have less field, less open field between you and the goal line for him to create that space. So that becomes a consideration as you get closer to the goal line. Maybe they go with something short to, like, say, a Trevor Craig here who has been known to make a few things happen once That's he gets the ball in his hands. Once he gets it in space, he can be pretty exciting. I like football. 56 seconds left. 24-21, Mattoon. Hearts with the ball at Mattoon's 39 and a new set of downs. Hunter Graham, Hudson Graham looking to throw, looking to throw. Goes deep. He's got Corey Osborne there. Intercepted. Intercepted by Mattoon in the end zone. by Mattoon. I mean, that's Mattoon intercepts it in the end zone. Reese Pryor, zone, who's had a pretty good back. night receiving the ball, gets the interception. Mattoon will get to bring it out to the 21st and 10 with 45 seconds left. Yeah, there were there were three there were three Mattoon players there around Corey Osborne. They had all converged on him and might have got a little greedy there. Yeah, it was a pretty pretty easy pick. Yeah, one on three. I know. <laughs> The Hearts have converted on a few of those this year, but not when they're back there sitting waiting. Not in the end zone like that. Well, let's. it's not over yet. Game like this, who knows? 45 seconds left. Could be a fumble, could be a whatever. We'll see. My guess is Mattoon's just going to take a knee, and the Hearts will call a timeout, and they'll take a knee, and that'll be the show. Down to 45 seconds left. Mattoon just won't do anything fancy here. They just want to hang on to the football. So, there's the knee. That'll start the clock. And boy, oh boy. Green Smith takes a knee. Tough loss. So, clock runs. And for the record, back to the 18 yard line. Well, the Hearts put it up, threw it in the end zone. One on three, and Mattoon got the pick. And that's the show. Another knee, and that'll do it. Well, Effingham on senior night gave their fans a lot of thrills. Couldn't quite deliver a win. Final score here at Klosterman Field. Mattoon 24, Effingham 21. Hearts fall to three and four on the season and two and two in the Apollo. Post-game show, courtesy of our friends at the Glenwood on the way in just a minute on 97.9 XFA. Northside Ford and Effingham is proud to be a sponsor of high school sports. Check out the new F-150. The future of tough is here today, so you can own work now like never before. Stop by and take a test drive. Contact Northside Ford today or visit them online at effinghamford.com. Getting the final score tonight, Mattoon 24, Effingham 21. And as we get to talk with Ho with uh, Coach Brett Hefner, <clears throat> maybe the toughest one of the year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Um, feel for the kids. You know, kids battled, um, you know, played hard. Feel for the seniors. You know, last regular season, um, you know, home game. Uh, you know, so feel for them. You know, laid it all out there. Had chances, had opportunities. You know, uh, team team loss. You know, me included. Uh, there were a couple times in the second half I made you know bad calls, put us in bad situations where uh, down and distance wise, just wasn't smart. And uh, you know, and then we had plenty of opportunities. Uh, defense did, did a great job getting the stops and getting the ball back. Special teams covering kicks and um, you know, we, just, we just didn't take advantage. And that's uh, 
and it's tough, you know, and that's a heck of a ball club. You know, Coach Johnson and those guys do a, do an outstanding job and, uh, you know, very athletic, very well-coached uh, ball club. We've seen some really good football teams off and on throughout the season. Last couple of weeks have been tough. Played Taylorville so well at Taylorville. Mm -hmm. And uh, then this one tonight, because you know you had opportunities and just yeah, just couldn't tough. cash just, in. Just couldn't, couldn't get over the hump, you know, and, and uh, you know, at halftime, you know, we felt good. It was, it was a lot of similarities, I thought, to the Salem game, and mm -hmm. we didn't play very well. And you felt like you were down four touchdowns, and you were only down three points. And, um, you know, so we felt felt good about that. We straightened a couple things out offensive line-wise, and bang, 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 you go down the field. And then, um, you know, the next series, you know, and everybody's got the same question I got, you know, well, how come you can't do that every time? And it's just, you know, it, it, one person steps the wrong way or has their eyes in the wrong place, and next thing you know, and that same play that went for 15 yards, all of a sudden now you're second and 13, and, you know, that's not a good down to, to be in uh, anytime. Yep. And, um, you know, so that's tough, and, you know, you try and hang in there and get your defense, get your stop, and get the ball back, and then, uh, you know, and, and we had chances. We just didn't make plays. They made a couple more plays than we did and won the game. Going to the end zone that last play, uh, did we get a little greedy maybe? Um, it looked that way only, but but not really because the, the play was designed. It was um, it was hitch and go, um, which he was open early. The problem was Hudson had to re he couldn't throw it on time, so the ball would have come out earlier. He couldn't throw it on time. Had to move around in the pocket. By the time he was able to throw the ball, then it was that far downfield. No, it was supposed to be three steps. Pump, reset, and throw. He got pressured, um, you know. But I don't, I don't have a problem with that because anybody that's watched the last few weeks, uh, that young man does a pretty good job oh, yeah. going up and getting the ball, and, and uh, you know, just uh, you know, just a foot here, a foot there, and you know, we say it all the time: it's game of inches, and yeah. it was tonight. Absolutely. We had two kids over 100 yards rushing. That makes coach feel good. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, you would like to you would like to get get a, get a few more of those yards at critical times. Um, you know, but uh, but yeah, I mean they're they're playing well. You know, Hudson Hudson ran the ball well tonight. Um, you know, made some good throws tonight. Um, you know, we we had a, a protection breakdown. You know, it's just one here and then four plays good and then one here and. You know, we, it's, but that's the inconsistencies that we've been battling. Yeah, and you had, ele I think, 11 or 12 different kids with a tackle tonight. Mm -hmm. that, that's nice to spread them around like that. Yeah, they, you know, uh, we got on them a little bit at halftime. We didn't think they had been playing with the same speed that they had in the first half, that they had, that we had seen the last two weeks. And I uh, thought it was much better in the second half, you know. And, uh, but, yeah, you know, great effort. The kids compete well. That's what makes it so hard. I mean, you know, they, they've worked and worked and worked, and you want them to, um, to be able to enjoy the work. Yep. We can all count. We're down to two games to mm -hmm. go. Got to win them both to have a shot at yep. the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. And we talked, uh, you know, you and I talked last week, and we talked with the kids. You know, I thought the way they competed last week that, you know, I said, we'll win out, you know, we can win out, and, and uh, you know, we had chances tonight, and, you know, we play the way we're capable of playing, we'll have chances, the same chances next week, you know, can't win them both next week, you know, can only win one, so we'll come in tomorrow morning and watch film, see what we can do better, and we'll go back to work on that on Monday, and, and the kids have been great about that, and, and uh, so I know they'll work hard, and coaches will work hard, and, uh, you know, we'll get ready to go next Friday. There were a couple of kids that limped off tonight. Everybody pretty much I don't know. okay. I'm, I I got to catch Troy. Um, I don't know. The kids probably got out before I saw him. I know Hudson was limping. He got hit pretty good on the um, second to last play. Um, you know, so I have to I have to check on a few of them. What do you know about Mr. High? It was an ankle injury. Uh, yeah, and I I anytime they put the cast on, you know, the, the air cast, uh, you know, that, that's not a good sign. No. Uh, you know, it comes from a good family from my time in Mattoon. His uh, father played at Indiana State, Robert High, and then Uncle Willie, sure. and 
uh, he coached on my father-in-law's staff, so, uh, you know, very good family. Hate to, hated to see that for him. Absolutely. Head to Mount Zion, they're always a tough chore. Yeah, it'd be a different game. You know, they're uh, very fast, uh, no huddle, um, you know, wide open offense, so a little different than what we've seen the last few weeks. So, um, you know, we'll have to do our best to get ready for that and get ready to play. We'll look forward to seeing you there. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Thanks. Greg. Thanks. Appreciate it. Arts coach Brad Hefner coming up with us on the post-game show. Appreciate the visit. Again, the final score here at Klosterman Field on senior night. Mattoon 24, Effingham 21.